Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. American Comics. I can upgrade entries infinitely. Chapter 61. As the energy of the space gem stopped being infused, the portal in the sky slowly closed. Tony was rushing in with the warhead in his hand. The Ancient One moved his fingers slightly, and a circle of fire attacked her. In the blink of an eye, it was teleported away. At this moment, he was the only one left on the roof of the building. Yang Shi stepped out in the air, and his whole body rushed out quickly, stopping steadily in front of the cosmic magic. The Tesseract released a faint blue light, and all the energy was extremely converged. Standing in front of him, Yang Shi did not feel a trace of threat. He stretched out his hand to grab the Tesseract. This time no one stopped him, and he really got the Tesseract. The right hand holding the Tesseract suddenly exerted force, but the Tesseract did not change at all. Yang Shi was embarrassed for a moment, and used his strength again, squeezing the Tesseract from all directions. There was only a slight sound of breaking, and the next moment the Tesseract suddenly dispersed, revealing the blue gem hidden in it. Without the shell of Tesseract, he could clearly feel the constant power in the space gem, his eyes flickered slightly, although he had gone through a lot of things and many accidents, but in the end he still succeeded in getting an infinite gem. With this infinite gem, he not only mastered the power of space teleportation, but also could use it to prevent the future Thanos from snapping his fingers. At this moment, a loud noise came from the sky, and it was the warhead that exploded. Yang Shi looked up and saw that before the portal closed, a red and golden figure fell out from it. The aftermath of the explosion saved him, otherwise he would have to stay in the unknown starry sky facing thousands of Chitori. 763. Seeing this, the other Avengers rushed up one after another, and finally Thor caught Tony with the hammer. Yang Shi saw this slightly familiar scene, smiled slightly, and the gem in his hand immediately released a blue light, which completely enveloped it like a thick fog. When the fog dissipated, his figure had disappeared. Yang Shi did not go home, but came to a quiet and deserted riverside. In fact, although he got the space gem, he really had no idea how to deal with it. The space gem was indeed very useful, but it was like a locator, which released gamma rays that could be monitored. Just give Dr. Banner a little time, and he could let it follow the space gem to his home. He didn't want to have a sudden knock on the door when he was having dinner at home one day, and hear Phil Coulson's voice. Open the door, NYPD. Yang Shi seemed to really think of that scene, and he couldn't help shaking his head. He had to think of a way to hide the energy of the Tesseract, even if it was only effective for the Blue Star people, it could avoid a lot of trouble. After thinking about it, it seemed that only the Ancient One could help him. Yang Shi smiled slightly and used the power of the space gem again. When the blue fog dissipated, the picture in front of Yang Shi had changed, and even the sky was different. Looking up, there was a night sky above his head that seemed to be inlaid with countless star diamonds. The surroundings were extremely quiet, without the human voices or the roar of machines in the city, and even the air was much fresher. This was like a paradise, and it was also the territory of the Ancient One, Kamar Taj. Kamar Taj was not a house, but a village, isolated from the world, with only the Ancient One and the seekers who came to Kamar Taj to learn. Yang Shi stood on a path, with wooden houses lined up on his side. Torches were hung on the mud walls outside the wooden houses, lighting up the path. His arrival did not alarm anyone, definitely except Ancient One, who did not show up. Yang Shi did not care, and walked forward with a little interest, observing the situation here. Coming from New York, where chaos and screams coexist, to this place where it is so quiet that you can hear insects chirping, it is really a bit uncomfortable. Following this path, he came to a place that was a bit strange in the village. A wide square, with solemn and solemn halls built in front and on both sides. Obviously, this is the real dojo of Ancient One. But when he just stepped onto the square and stepped on a gravel, making a slight sound, he saw the fire in the hall on the left flickering, and a figure was walking out. Soon, a figure appeared at the door. Yang Shi raised his eyebrows slightly and looked at the figure. He was wearing a dark red robe, with a bloated body, short hair on his head, and a thick beard on his lips. His appearance was not very good. Who are you? Wang frowned and shouted at Yang Shi loudly, and at the same time, he clenched his fists in front of him, 
directly showing two defensive magic circles close to his arms, and stared at Yang Shi, who was wearing strange clothes, with a vigilant look. Looking at this king who will become the sorcerer supreme in the future, he wanted to come to Ancient One directly, but although the other party asked, he didn't want to give him a chance to answer. Wang waved his right hand towards Yang Shi, and a magic whip was instantly generated. The long whip swept towards Yang Shi, but he didn't want to whip him, but wanted to use the long whip to tie him up. Yang Shi shook his head slightly helplessly, stretched out his palm slowly, and piled forward casually. Before the whip got close, Wang flew backwards and rushed into the hall. From the sound, it could be heard that he had broken a lot of things. Only after a while, Wang appeared again, looking a little dusty, but still ready to fight. Yang Shi pressed his palm lightly, and Wang's face changed instantly. He felt an invisible force coming from above, sticking to the surface of his body, turning into a terrifying pressure like a mountain, making him unable to move, and he couldn't even raise his arms, let alone cast magic. At this moment, a voice sounded from the left front. Brother Wang, I'll help you. As soon as the voice sounded, a magic whip was swung towards Yang Shi, and a man in a robe appeared on one side of the hall. His face was a little gloomy, and his long hair was tied into a braid. The magic whip came fiercely, but it did not fall on Yang Shi, but whipped in the air, as if there was an invisible wall in front of Yang Shi. Yang Zai's eyes narrowed slightly, and he looked at the man. He felt that he looked familiar, but he couldn't remember who he was. He was probably an insignificant character. However, the power of the magic whip was quite good, stronger than the king's magic. But he vaguely felt a slightly strange aura on it, which was in line with the ancient magic. The man's face changed slightly when he saw this, and he began to use the magic. The next moment, the space around him began to fold up. Yang Shi knew it was mirror magic at a glance. But Yang Shi didn't have the heart to play house with these people. He immediately slapped out with his palm, and the folded mirror disappeared immediately. Ancient One Magician don't you want to see me, so you disciples are the threshold? Yang Shi suddenly asked, he didn't believe that Ancient One really didn't know what was going on. As expected, as soon as he said this, Ancient One walked out of the hall in front of the square with a smile on his face. It's good to let them know that there are people outside the sky. Please trouble your excellency. Master, Wang and another person, whose energy restraints were removed by Yang Shi, saluted Ancient One. You go down first, this is a friend of mine. Ancient One ordered directly. The two had no objections and left immediately. Before leaving, they looked at Yang Ni with curious eyes. Yang Shi looked at their backs as they left, his eyes flashed, as if he thought of something, and immediately looked at Ancient One with a slightly meaningful look. Do you have anything to say, Excellency? Ancient One seemed to see Yang's eyes face through the mask and asked. The ability of your disciple is quite similar to yours. Quote. Yang Shi chuckled, but it was not a compliment. He remembered who the disciple Ancient One was, and he remembered it only after he used magic. Unlike Ancient One, his magic had a strange taste, more like his vampire toxins, dark and weird. As for Ancient One, although Yang Shi did not feel it, he knew that she was just hiding it well, and most of her power came from the dark space dimension. Now it seems that the power of that disciple should also have the taste of dark space, and will directly rebel in the future, and even cause the, death, of Ancient One. Hearing this, Ancient One shook his head speechlessly and said, Your Excellency's words are too sharp, but I have already prepared what you want, but now it seems unnecessary. Quote. Yang Shi was shocked when he heard this. Ancient One's ability to observe the future was really strong. He even knew what he wanted in advance. However, he had to ask for help, so he immediately changed his words and said, he should be called the king. The future is promising. Seeing Yang Shi say this, Ancient One shook his head helplessly, turned around and walked into the hall, temporarily bypassing Yang Shi, and Yang Shi naturally followed closely behind him and followed Ancient One into her dojo. The hall looked very empty, with a low table in the middle and a box on it. Ancient One asked Yang Shi to sit down on the spot, and he also sat in front of the low table. With a wave of his hand, he summoned two cups directly and placed them steadily on the table. Yang Shi glanced at the cup. There was only a piece of tea in it. With the ancient finger, hot water suddenly gushed out from the bottom of the cup, and in a blink of an eye, a cup of fragrant tea was ready. 
It tastes good. Yang Shi took a sip and felt the fragrance of the blooming, and immediately praised it. Then his eyes fell on the octagonal wooden box on the table. It was full of purple lines. The lid and the box body were closely connected. There was no lock. I just didn't know what was inside. This is what you want. Ancient One gestured to Yang Shi to take a look. Yang Shi was not polite, and directly put his hand on the lid and gently opened it. There was nothing inside except a layer of silk cloth. He was slightly stunned, put the lid on the table, and touched the silk cloth with one hand, but there was still nothing. He thought it was something invisible, and immediately looked at Ancient Three in confusion. But he found that there was an obvious smile on Ancient One's face, and then he slowly explained. The thing I'm talking about is this box, also known as Pandora, a famous magic weapon, often used to seal dangerous and uncontrollable dark objects, so there is a rumor of Pandora's box. It can also be used to store infinite gems and cover up the energy fluctuations of space gems. But infinite gems will attract each other, and the holder of infinite gems cannot be hidden. Yang Shi looked at the box in surprise. He didn't expect that this was Pandora's box. Although there were certain restrictions in the mouth of Ancient One, it was enough for him. What are your conditions? Yang Shi asked instead. He definitely didn't think that Ancient One would give it to him directly. If possible, please try not to kill the superheroes of the Justice Camp on Blue Star. They all have their own missions. Ancient One said seriously with a serious face. Her request was that Yang Shi would not interfere with the future timeline, but the possibility was not great, so she could only lower the requirements. In the future she observed, these superheroes on Blue Star were all tasked with fighting against the evil camp of the entire universe. The death of any one of them might make the evil camp in the universe stronger, and eventually lead to an imbalance in the power of the camps. No problem. Quote, Yang Shi agreed directly and readily, but how to do it was a problem. He pulled the box over with one hand, and took out the space gem with a blue light, put it in it, and closed the lid. In an instant, it seemed that the gem disappeared in front of him, and there was no trace of sensation. Yang's eyes face immediately showed satisfaction. With this thing, it would not be a problem to put it at home. Since the thing was in hand, it was naturally not good to disturb others' sleep. He immediately stood up and prepared to leave. By the way, Ancient One Magician, you said before that you welcome me to learn magic here, it should not be a polite remark. Single quote. Before leaving, Yang Shi remembered something and asked at the right time. Definitely not. Ancient One shook his head, but he didn't know why Yang Shi was so obsessed with magic. She could see where Yang Zai's strength came from. Qi Gong had been cultivated to perfection. She had seen many people like Yang Shi who practiced Qi Gong, but it was obvious that only Yang Shi had reached this point. He had walked a path that no one had walked before and achieved the goal that others had hoped for all their lives. Why should he abandon the main goal and turn to learning magic? In her opinion, with Yang Zai's strength, coming here was not considered learning, but communication. That's good. Yang Shi smiled. Qi Gong was good, but magic was also good. Who said you couldn't have both? Ancient One naturally didn't know what he was thinking. If he could come up with a term with magic, who would call whom magician? But Yang Shi was not in a hurry. Anyway, he had the space gem and could come here at any time. He would solve the current trouble first. The next moment, Yang Shi used the space gem to return to New York with a happy mood. However, he did not go home directly, but found a deserted place. At this moment, Police cars were passing through the streets from time to time, and there were bursts of noise. Although the New York War had ended, the impact had not yet subsided. In a park in New York, you can see the messy ground, and large pits appeared from time to time on the flat lawn. Yang Shi sat casually on the lawn, looking at the quiet and deserted surroundings, putting Pandora's box aside, holding the space gem in his hand. He had several purposes for snatching the gem. One was to hold an infinite gems, so that he would not know when Thanos would snap his fingers. The second was that infinite gems really had magical powers, and it would definitely be worth it to get them. The third was to try whether infinite gems could be used to hatch entries. You know, infinite gems are enough to cause human mutations and give birth to certain abilities. For example, Hydra created Quicksilver and Wanda. Although Wanda originally had the potential to become Scarlet Witch, it was the infinite gems that pushed her and accelerated the activation. 
The reason for their mutation was the powerful power of these gems, or the effect of gamma rays. The Hulk also mutated because of gamma rays. Yang Shi looked at the infinite gems in his hand, which were glowing with blue light. If an ordinary person held them for a long time, they would probably mutate under the influence of gamma rays, thus awakening super abilities. But this must be a long process, and Hydra probably wouldn't have such good patience. Yang Shu's eyes flashed with thought. If he wanted to mutate quickly, the more energy the space gem released, the better, so he would be affected more. He would not reject possible changes. After all, he was immortal. If he really wanted to become the Hulk, he would just delete his account and start over. Thinking of this, he clenched the infinite gems in his hand, closed his eyes, and felt the power of Space Gem C. In fact, if you want the Space Gem to release the maximum energy, it will undoubtedly destroy it. I think the energy released instantly can reach the peak value. It's a pity that he can't do this step now. After all, this is infinite gems. Besides, the entire blue star should not be able to bear it. So Yang Zai's current method is to release the power of the space gem as much as possible according to the routine. The next moment, endless blue smoke gushed out of the gem and swallowed him directly, and then Yang Shi disappeared. And Yang Shi has already appeared in the endless starry sky. There is no sound here, as silent as death. He just floats in the starry sky, looking at those bright stars. Even if he is not used to the air, it will not affect him in a short time. He turned his head left and right to look at the surrounding scene, and determined that this place looks suitable for the experiment he wants to do. He immediately closed his eyes and began to feel the energy of the gem wholeheartedly. The energy of the gem can be said to be endless, but most people can only exert a part of the energy, or a very small part, or even negligible. Because the power in the gem is huge and disordered, how much power you want to control depends on how much ability you have and how much power you can hold. In Yang Zai's senses, at this moment, he seemed to be wandering in the endless night, surrounded by inky floating energy. As soon as his mind moved, his body emitted a ray of light that bloomed in all directions, and all the energy covered by the light was controlled by him. However, the light was forced to stop after extending to a distance of more than 10 meters, as if it was forced to be compressed to this extent, and it seemed that he was only this long, and it would be useless even if he stretched it desperately. However, this short distance of more than 10 meters is simply the difference between a grain of light and the sun and the moon in the endless night. How could he be willing? Perhaps the system perceived his unwillingness, and the next moment the entry fell from the sky and slowly merged into his body. At first, it was just the Superman physique entry, and as it merged, the light suddenly stretched out twice as long. Then came the Blood Ancestor entry and the Qi Guan Cheng Hong entry. When they fell into the body, these lights rushed out crazily, as if they were stimulated by something, and rushed forward in a hurry. In a blink of an eye, the light released by Yang Shi was completely different from the beginning. And the last one was the immortal and indestructible entry, which fell like the sun and slowly drilled into his body. At this moment, the sky was bright. Yang Shi suddenly opened his eyes, and the power of the space gem surged crazily. Transmission channels appeared on all sides of him, as if connecting to a certain edge of the universe. Hundreds of portals appeared in the blink of an eye, but this was not enough. Yang Zai's eyes showed a trace of madness, and his mind was strengthened. Blue lights appeared in the dim universe. As the blue light disappeared, it was replaced by a transmission channel that could lead to a certain boundary of the universe. The blue light flashed crazily, which meant that the number of portals increased crazily. In the blink of an eye, it quickly increased from hundreds to hundreds, and then from hundreds to thousands. He tried his best to extract the power of Space Gem and made this crazy move. And this is just the beginning. As time goes by, these portals alone are enough to build his own galaxy. The number of portals seems to have reached tens of thousands. At this moment, the crazy release of the power of infinite gems has attracted the attention of some people in the universe. The Ancient One in Kamar Taj woke up from meditation and looked in a certain direction, as if he saw Yang Shi through the roof, through the atmosphere, and through the endless universe. It was like a firework blooming in the dark night, and it was hard not to attract her attention. She looked serious and stared for a long time, but she didn't know what she was thinking. Maybe she regretted giving up the gem. In the end, she could only sigh and echoed in this hall. And Odin, who was on the throne, 
suddenly turned his head and looked in one direction. His only eye seemed a little deep, as if he saw through time and space, staring at Yang Zai's figure, with a serious face and a frown. On a fleet in the endless deep space, Thanos, who was also sitting on a throne made of his own bones, felt the energy fluctuations that spread throughout the universe. His eyes could not help but reveal a hint of fighting spirit, and the corners of his mouth curled up slightly, as if he saw something interesting. People like them were only a few who cast their eyes over, and such energy fluctuations made the hidden existence in the universe look over. Yang Shi didn't know that at this moment, he was still continuing to expand his energy. When the portals opened to tens of thousands, it was already Yang Zai's limit, and he could only control such a large amount of energy at most. But Yang Shi did not give up, and a crazy idea came into his mind. In an instant, the number of portals turned to decrease, and a portal far in front of him was constantly shrouded in blue smoke, and the entrance of the transmission channel was quietly expanding. It seemed to gradually expand as the number of portals decreased. That's right, what Yang Shi was doing at this moment was, 10,000 swords returned to one. He integrated all the portals and concentrated them on one portal. Just through this portal, many transmission channels can be accommodated. At that time, wherever there is a portal in the starry sky, you can come through this door. This action directly allows Yang Shi to control the space gem more thoroughly, or because of this portal, the space gem has to continue to output energy even beyond the energy range that Yang Hui can control. At this moment, even if Yang Shi wants to stop, he can't do it. The number of portals is decreasing madly. After an unknown period of time, the space where Yang Shi is located is only the huge transmission channel in front of him. The entrance of the channel is like a rippled water surface. As the water surface sways, it seems to reflect many faces. Yang Shi saw the purple potato head, the one-eyed Odin, the glowing Captain Marvel, and some guys who have never been seen before but have a terrifying aura. Fire. Thanos sat on the space battleship, looking at the portal, and gave a cold order. The next moment, the space battleship opened fire and fired dense artillery fire at the portal. However, it did not penetrate the portal, but exploded on the portal instead. In fact, there were many people who tried to attack the portal. Yang Shi only felt that the power of the space gem was being drawn out again to stabilize the transmission channel. He felt that the energy released by the space gem at this moment was no longer at the same level as during the New York War. If this energy leaked a little, it might directly destroy a planet. Yang Shi naturally could not withstand such power, but as a user of the space gem at this moment, he was not impacted by this power, so he was safe and sound. However, he was a little excited in his heart. This energy might make his body mutate quickly. As the portals in various parts of the universe were impacted, the power of the space gem continued to increase, and a little abnormality appeared. The transmission channel with blue light as the base was glowing with colorful light at this moment, just like the aurora covering the universe. At this moment, the power of the space gem reached its peak, like a roaring and shaking machine, very abnormal, like overload, and could explode at any time. Even Yang Shi felt a little frightened, especially standing so close, like his face was pressed against a missile that was about to explode. Although he was immortal, he was still a little touched. The big guys who were watching all this couldn't help but change their faces when they saw this, and stood up one after another, some of them couldn't sit still. They felt that the barrier of the universe quietly cracked under this portal, crossing time and space, and connecting other universes. In other words, this portal suddenly opened the passage to the multi-universe, allowing some inexplicable existences to directly break into their universe through this door. Yang Shi didn't know that his portal had deteriorated first, which made the big guys like Ancient One and Odin unable to sit still. Although there were often strangers in this universe, these big guys didn't care much. But the situation at this moment is different from the past. The space gem is the foundation of the entire universe. The multi-universe channel constructed with its power is like an administrator setting. At that time, this universe will become a multi-universe public lounge, and everyone can come in and get involved. Countless forces came across time and space, trying to stop all this, but they were a little exhausted. Only the Ancient One was slightly better. He directly opened the Eye of Agamotto and released the Time Gem in it, using the power of the Time Gem to stop all this from happening. However, 
because the power of the space gem has reached the extreme of infinite gems at this moment, it is impossible to reverse time. It can only try its best to slow down the progress of its generation, but it cannot completely stop its pace. And at this moment, Yangshi suddenly saw a rainbow light appear in this universe, followed by a golden spear, which was Odin's weapon, the Eternal Spear, but Yangshi did not recognize it. The Eternal Spear instantly penetrated the universe and nailed it on the transmission channel. The terrifying power suddenly spread and swept towards the universe. Yang Shi looked at the eternal spear that suddenly appeared, and couldn't help but blink. He didn't know what it was, but he knew that someone had made a move. However, the power of the person who made the move was a bit terrifying. The power of the impact alone might directly destroy his body. Fortunately, he was within the range of the space gem at the moment, so the spreading power was blocked outside. A crack appeared in the transmission channel, but it couldn't be directly broken. And the matter didn't end there. A thunder emitting golden light suddenly appeared, coming from a very far distance. As far as Yang Shi could see with his naked eyes, it would take him many years to run fast with Qigong. However, such a long distance, under this golden light and thunder, it came in an instant, like a spear directly falling on the transmission channel, and the transmission channel suddenly had more traces like spider webs. But it still didn't break. Now Yang Shi already knew the seriousness of the matter, frowned, and couldn't help thinking in his heart, who was the one who made the transmission gate he created. Judging from the power of these two moves, they are probably the big guys in the universe, but why did they all attack his portal? Seeing that the colorful light behind the transmission channel is getting stronger and stronger, the multi-universe channel will be completely and permanently fixed. At this time, a huge amount of figure appeared in this universe. At first glance, some fixed stars are just basketballs in his hands. This figure is generally transparent, and only some light depicts its appearance. It has three faces, but none of them can be seen clearly. Yang Shi couldn't help but open his mouth wide. This figure was beyond his cognition, and he couldn't help but feel a little awe in his heart. But this awe disappeared as he focused his mind. He didn't know what this was, but he didn't believe that the other party could break his immortality. He couldn't help but feel a little uneasy. I saw that the huge figure had moved, and a finger pointed directly at the direction of the portal, and Yang Shi was also in this direction. Yang Shi didn't feel any terrifying energy, on the contrary, he didn't feel a bit of power, as if the other party was a 3D projection, and the action he made was meaningless. However, the next moment he saw the portal disappear quickly like a bubble, without a trace of struggle. This was obviously only possible with a power far superior to the space gem, which could be wiped out so easily, like using plasticine to wipe off the traces. The transmission channel disappeared without a trace in an instant, and the space gem in his hand did not riot at all, and was as quiet as a dead object. As for Yang Shi, he looked down at his body and saw that his body began to dissipate from his palm, as if it was completely crushed on a physical level, without even a trace of powder left. In an instant, Yang Zai's body was completely annihilated in the universe, leaving no trace, only the mask and clothes floating in the universe. Even the blue gem disappeared without a trace with a puff of blue smoke. After a while, Yang Zai's body reappeared, with a relaxed expression, and quickly took the clothes and put them on. This time, even his soul was completely annihilated by someone. This was the first time he encountered such a situation, but it was still harmless. His essence was immortal. Yang Shi looked forward, and the huge figure had disappeared long ago, just as it was silent when it came, and it left as well, as if it was not in the world. But what made Yang Shi a little flustered was that the space gem was gone. The space gem he had worked so hard to get was actually gone. Could it be that it was annihilated by that figure? He couldn't help but have such a thought in his mind. In fact, it is not impossible. It feels that it is not impossible to do it with the power of that figure. In his opinion, even if the Ancient One wanted to destroy an infinite gems with his power, it would probably not be that easy. But Yang Shi had no doubt that the other party could do it. This time he met a real big tired. However, he was an indestructible cockroach, no matter how strong he was. But now the space gem was gone, how could he get back to the blue planet from this universe? This was more distressing to him than anything else. But there was nothing left at the scene. 
Yang Shi looked around and saw a thunder symbol with dazzling golden light floating in the air in front of him, like an elongated Z shape. Before, he only saw the light of thunder and could not see any shape, but now he saw it and was slightly stunned. This really looked familiar, as if he had seen it before. It looked like Zeus's weapon. In addition, there was a spear that just appeared with the rainbow, which now looked like a metal spear. Yang Shi grabbed it with one hand, and endless energy surged. The two weapons immediately shot towards him rapidly and appeared in front of him in a blink of an eye. He looked at the weapon that was still flashing with a hint of golden lightning, and without hesitation or fear, he grabbed it with his right hand. Instantly, Golden light appeared in his eyes, penetrating the mask, and his hair fluttered, like a majestic god of war. Endless thunder penetrated into his body and filled everywhere. At this moment, he seemed to have mastered the power of thunder. His hair fluttered, emitting a trace of golden light of thunder. Yang Shi looked at the thunder in his hand in surprise. It was really defenseless. Could anyone who picked it up use it? It seemed that Zeus had no habit of using this key. He could feel that as long as he threw it out with force, it would definitely burst out with amazing power, but it might not be able to be taken back, after all, he was not the owner of this thunder. Although Yang Shi wanted to try this feeling, he did not throw it out in the end, otherwise it would definitely not be able to be taken back at its speed. His eyes turned to the spear next to him, which looked simple and ancient, as if its owner had used it for a long time and experienced many battles. Its spearhead was divided into three parts, the left and right sides were slightly shorter, as if guarding the middle, in an arc shape, and the middle was a protruding long tip, which was somewhat similar to the shape of a long sword, but not so thin. Yang Shi did not know its origin, but it was probably the weapon of a big boss in the universe. Zeus's thunder left traces on the transmission channel but did not break it, and the same was true for this spear. Yang Shi stretched out his left hand and suddenly grasped the gun, but he felt no power, which was completely different from the golden light and thunder. However, he exuded a sense of majesty, as if he had inherited some identity and could command the world. Yang Shi frowned slightly and raised the spear. The next moment, a colorful rainbow appeared quietly and directly enveloped him. He felt that the rainbow was not dangerous, so he let himself be enveloped by it. After the colorful rainbow enveloped him, it suddenly retracted, and even his body was pulled along with it, and his body left along the colorful rainbow. Yang Shi was very surprised and recognized this thing. It turned out to be Bifrost. Isn't this Asgard's thing? He immediately knew the origin of this spear. It should be Asgard's thing. Combined with the power of the previous attack, it was obviously Odin's thing. He didn't expect that this spear could directly command Bifrost and take him through the universe. It solved his troubles at once. The rainbow light and his speed surpassed the speed of light, drilling in and out of the holes one by one. After a while, the rainbow light fell on an open space in New York, leaving Yang's eyes figure. In fact, with this eternal spear, Bifrost can be directly controlled without the gatekeeper above, it is equivalent to Odin. With the authority of Asgard. How can you hold my father's eternal spear? A sudden roar brought Yang Shi back to his thoughts. He turned his head and found that Thor was holding the hammer, glaring at Yang Shi like a child whose toy was robbed, and beside him, Loki, who was handcuffed and held by Thor, was also staring at Yang Shi with a complicated expression. After all, the Eternal Spear is of great significance to them. It is the weapon of their father's battle in the Nine Realms, although the symbolic meaning is more important than the practical meaning now. Looking at the two people, Yang Shi couldn't help but blink. It didn't seem like they suddenly appeared, but he was teleported to them by Bifrost. Was this an accident? Yang Shi didn't know, but it was good to be able to return. I picked it up, Yang Shi said casually. He didn't know why the two weapons were still here. Logically, they should be able to return directly to their owners, but they didn't. Or maybe Odin and Zeus saw his future and invested in advance, giving him their personal weapons. And we can imagine more boldly, maybe more than that. After all, personal weapons have too much symbolic meaning. Who knows if Odin and Zeus didn't want to pass the position to him. Give me back the Spear of Eternity. Hearing Yang Shi say this, Thor didn't take it seriously. He raised his hammer and pointed it at Yang Shi with anger on his face. Yang Shi, who was under the mask, seemed a little disdainful after hearing this, and said calmly, you are not worthy of asking me for it. If you want it, 
let your father come in person. As for Odin, if he comes in person, then he can only return it. The next moment, Thor exploded directly, like an angry little lion, with blue lightning bursting out all over his body. In an instant, a lightning bolt struck Yangshi, but before it fell, the thunder in Yang's eye's right hand shot out a golden thunder bolt, which directly split the blue lightning bolt. Oh, not bad. Yangshi was a little surprised. He didn't expect that this thunderbolt had the function of automatically protecting the owner. It really seemed that anyone who picked it up could use it. This is a miracle. Thor frowned upon seeing this, but he didn't take the thunder seriously. Let me show you the power of Thor. Thor shouted loudly, jumped suddenly, and swung his hammer towards Yang Shi. Yang Zai's eyes condensed, but he didn't dodge, and directly stabbed with his left hand, colliding with the hammer, emitting violent sparks. But suddenly he sensed something, and his mind moved. Even with the physical fitness bonus of the Superman physique and the Blood Ancestor entries, he obviously felt that his strength was not as good as Thor. However, at the moment when the two weapons collided, the energy in Yang Zai's body directly flowed into the Eternal Spear, and finally burst out at its tip. The next moment, Thor's figure flew backwards, and even Mjolnir was shaken out of his hand by this power and finally fell to the ground. Yang Shi raised his eyebrows and looked at the Eternal Spear in his hand with some surprise. Is this Odin's weapon? It's really good. His strength has been significantly enhanced after being injected into the Eternal Spear. It's really suitable for him. Maybe he can clash with the Ancient One with this Eternal Spear. Thor stood up awkwardly, but he was not injured. After all, Yang Shi hadn't really taken action yet. This was just a test, but Thor obviously lost. His eyelids sank and he seemed very unhappy. He raised his hand and was about to take back Mjolnir. But he stood there for a few seconds, but Mjolnir didn't react. He looked at the hammer on the ground with some disbelief. Mjolnir, Thor couldn't help shouting out. That was Mjolnir's name, but unfortunately the other party didn't react. Yang Zai's mouth curled up when he saw this. This was his handwriting. When the Eternal Spear came into contact with Mjolnir, he felt the authority of the Eternal Spear, which could directly seal Mjolnir. And now it seems that the effect is very good. Don't waste your energy. Yang Shi saw Thor coming to the hammer with an anxious look on his face, constantly trying to pick up the hammer, but he couldn't lift it at all, so he couldn't help but speak. You did it. Thor immediately understood and glared at Yang Shi. Loki was speechless watching from the side. Isn't it obvious? Could it be the handiwork of his father? But at this moment, his eyes were also a little solemn. He was thinking about what Yang Shi was. If he had picked up the weapon in Odin's hand by chance, it would be fine, but how could he even control the power of the Eternal Spear? Not only Bifrost, but also Mjolnir can be controlled. Is this what his father meant? Loki thought deeply at this moment, and even suspected that Yang Shi was a competitor for their throne. At this moment, he deliberately appeared here to meet them. Does it mean that Odin wants them to compete? Could this person still be their brother? It's just that he doesn't look like it. At this moment, Yang Shi suddenly turned his head to look at Loki. He could sense Loki's malicious gaze with his qigong. Seeing this, Loki shrugged his shoulders with good intentions, raised his handcuffed palm, and indicated that he had no intention of participating in their dispute. But at this moment, Yang Zai's eyes slightly condensed, and he did not move his eyes away. Looking at this gaze, Loki felt something was wrong. Sure enough, the next moment, Yang Shi directly raised the Eternal Spear and stabbed Loki. A force suddenly shot out along the tip of the spear and bloomed in the air. Loki flew out directly, and blood fell in the air. Loki, seeing this, Thor shouted loudly, but he did not forget that the enemy was in front of him. He immediately abandoned Mjolnir on the ground and ran towards Yang Shi with bare hands while emitting endless light. While running, he suddenly jumped up with his fists clasped together and smashed the ground. Instantly, continuous lightning fell, but all of it was blocked by the golden thunder. In the end, Thor could only fight with his bare hands, like a primitive man. Yang Shi didn't even use his strength. Before Thor got close, he used the Spear of Eternity to sweep Thor away. Thor was like an indestructible cockroach. Even if he fell, he would still rush up quickly. However, Without thunder and weapons, he was just an alien with greater strength. Facing Yang Shi holding a divine weapon, he could only be beaten continuously. 
In a blink of an eye, he was beaten black and blue by Odin's spear of eternity. In the end, Yang Shi decided not to waste time with this barbarian. He raised the spear of eternity again and disappeared along the rainbow. The place where Yang Shi appeared again was the square of Kamar Taj. At this moment, the sky had just dawned, but many seekers gathered in the square, practicing magic one by one. When Yang Shi appeared, everyone's eyes turned to Yang Shi. This is master's friend, Wang immediately explained to the others. Then he walked to Yang Shi and took Yang Shi into the hall where Ancient One was. The hall was very empty, only Ancient One was sitting cross-legged on the ground, closing his eyes as if he was resting. With the arrival of Yang Shi, she couldn't help but open her eyes, but she didn't have the smile she used to have, and the fatigue on her face was visible to the naked eye. Did the Ancient One magician stay up late? Yang Shi didn't expect that staying up late would have such a big impact on Ancient One. It seems that she has to choose a time to visit in the future. After all, she is a young person and can bear it. How can she let the elderly stay up late? Ancient One rolled his eyes rarely and didn't want to answer. The current situation was really all thanks to Yang Shi. Such consumption was really a bit too much for her. Fortunately, someone took action at the critical moment, otherwise it would be more troublesome now. Then her eyes fell on the weapon held by Yang Zai's hands, and a trace of surprise flashed in her eyes. How come these two weapons are here with you? This is Odin's eternal spear and Zeus' thunderbolt, and they are in Yang Zai's hands. Do those two not want the things anymore? Or do they dare not show their heads when they see that person? Yang Shi then sat down on the spot and told Ancient One what happened before. But what happened in Yang Zai's eyes was completely different from what Ancient One saw. After Ancient One's slow narration, Yang Shi finally knew what happened. The portal to the multi-universe. Yang Shi was very surprised. He didn't expect that he could even open the portal to the multi-universe with his operation. He frowned and thought about it carefully. It shouldn't be possible. At that time, the space gem was still in his hands and under his control. He just wanted to open a one-to-many transmission channel. How could it involve the multi-universe? He didn't have any idea of the multi-universe at that time, and the space gem couldn't open the transmission portal on the multi-universe without authorization. Don't think too much. It's not all your fault. There are coincidences and the Supreme Being is secretly guiding. Ancient One shook his head slowly. It's impossible to open the portal of multi-universe directly with just one space gem. It can be done with six infinite gems. In the end, it's still some people in the evil camp who are guiding it and want to make the universe chaotic. Yang Shi suddenly realized it. He said that he couldn't do it to this extent. Quote dot, who made the final move? After understanding the whole story, Yang Shi couldn't help asking. Ancient One immediately straightened his face and said seriously, you only need to know that it is the supreme being above the multi-universe. It appeared because of the transmission channel. If not, you wouldn't have seen it, and you don't have to worry about it causing trouble for you afterwards. I think it knew that you couldn't be killed before it took action. This is just a lesson for you. Quote, Yang Shi nodded. Since Ancient One said so, he did not continue to ask. He thought that when he was really strong enough, he would know that existence. Now that figure was a little too far away for him. Can you lend it to me for a look? Ancient One then looked at the two weapons in Yang Zai's hand and asked with a little interest. Yang Shi naturally did not refuse and handed over the two weapons, but Ancient One really did as she said, just took a look and did not take them. She observed carefully for a while, and then retracted her gaze after a while, with a hint of understanding on her face. It seems that these two weapons are affected by the power of that person, causing the marks of the two on them to disappear. Doesn't that mean that they are already ownerless? Yang Shi blurted out, but saw Ancient One looking at him strangely. Although these two weapons are extraordinary, their power still comes from their owners. Quote, Ancient One said earnestly, feeling that Yang Shi had no clue at all, did she really think that those two were kind people like her? The number of people killed in the early days was probably more than the current population of the entire Blue Star. Definitely, I'm just keeping it for them for a while. Yang Shi immediately replied, this golden light and thunder felt like that for the time being, but this eternal spear was indeed easy to use, and using it with strength could greatly improve his strength. If Odin didn't come to ask for it in person, 
he didn't intend to give it back to the other party obediently. After all, who would rush to deliver things to others on their own? The other party was not a bank. And from the future he knew, maybe the owner would be gone after a few years, and then it would really become an ownerless thing. Well, that's no problem. Judging from the current divine power above, it can't be taken back directly by those two. If you want to take it back, Song Yu has to come in person. Money is good for traveling. Ancient One nodded immediately, and was relieved to see that Yangshi had no intention of keeping it forever. Now that the two artifacts have lost their marks and the power of the God King, they can't fly back on their own. Those two people probably wouldn't mind their weapons being kept by someone for a short time. Then was the space gem destroyed by that person? Yang Shi continued to ask. Definitely not, but it seems that person doesn't want you to keep it anymore. Quote. Ancient One shook her head. She retracted her gaze the moment the man appeared. Although she didn't see what happened specifically, she knew that an infinite gem was destroyed. But, she knew that now that the space gem was not in Yang Zai's hands, it didn't mean that other people knew it. Yang Zai's action showed himself to the entire universe, and was seen by many big shots. I'm afraid that those who are interested in infinite gems would have some ideas. But the good thing is that the location Yang Shi chose is not close to the blue star, so those big shots will not know that Yang Shi is on the blue star. At most, they will let their men look for Yang Shi everywhere. Hearing the advice of Ancient One, Yang Shi nodded. He could only say that he would stop the enemy and cover the water with earth. Now that he has the eternal spear in his hand, he can fight against people like Thor. After his Qi Guan Chenghong item is upgraded, his strength will definitely be on the next level. By then, if anyone dares to appear in front of him, he will shoot him and kill him. Then Yang Shi shamelessly went to Ancient One. One asked for some methods to control the artifacts, at least to hide their usual energy aura, and then left with satisfaction. This time he directly used Bifrost to return home, but he didn't have to hide it deliberately. For Odin and his ilk, as long as they appear on the blue star, they will know his exact location, which cannot be solved by hiding his identity. Yang Shi casually put the Spear of Eternity and the Golden Thunder on the bed, and finally had time to relax. But his eyes suddenly lit up, he looked at the table lamp on the table, and as soon as he thought of it, the table lamp suddenly lit up. Yang Shi opened his mouth slightly, and a clear smile appeared on his face. His previous efforts were not in vain, he really got the super ability. Yang Shi quickly walked down the stairs from the bedroom and came to the living room. His eyes swept over the furniture in the living room, and the next moment, as he thought, all the lights turned on, the TV screen suddenly lit up, and kept changing channels. Yang Zai's eyes lit up slightly, and he carefully felt the specialness of this super ability. It is definitely not just a remote control to turn on various electrical appliances. Yang Shi looked at the closed door again, and the small screen on the right side of the door lit up, revealing the scenery outside. This is a home cat eye monitor, which can see visiting guests without going out. In short, it is a closed circuit television. Yang Shi quickly turned around and faced the door with his back. However, he was surprised to find that even so, he could still see the surveillance screen. The camera became his eyes. But it can do more than that. Under his perception, he extended his thoughts, as if through many channels, and finally connected to the closed circuit television next door, and he could also see the scene at the neighbor's door through the camera. This made him excited, and the next moment he continued to extend his thoughts outward, and finally connected to the closed circuit televisions of more than a dozen households on this street. In an instant, the scene that appeared in his mind was not more than ten pictures, but the scenery of a street. All the pictures were naturally superimposed and processed into one picture. Yang Shi looked at the pedestrians passing by in the dark night and the cars speeding by. It was really interesting to monitor the entire street directly in his mind. It was only a few minutes later, he suddenly felt a little dizzy, and instantly returned to reality, and all the pictures disappeared. It seems that this is the limit of his ability, or it is his first time to use this super ability, and the control is too low. After a break, Yang Shi continued to experiment and found that he could generally do something with the existence of electricity, but if it was just a simple mechanical device, he had no way. For example, he could start the ignition of the car parked on the street, but he could not control its steering wheel. 
Yang Shi thought, and the living room instantly fell into darkness, and he returned to his bedroom. Sitting on the chair, he opened the entry system with expectation. Sure enough, with the birth of his super ability, the entry system also had an entry. Electromagnetic induction, level 1, 4 tenths. Yang Shi noticed that the experience value of electromagnetic induction had increased to 4 points, which was obviously from the experiment just now. However, he did not draw a conclusion directly, but waited until the ability was restored a little before restarting the experiment. And this time, even though he exhausted the ability until he could no longer support it and stop the experiment, he found that the experience value did not increase at all, which surprised Yang Shi. Judging from the previous increase in experience value, it should be related to the use of his ability, but now the experience value has not changed at all. Is he wrong? Yang Shi frowned and thought carefully, maybe it is not the use of the ability to the limit that affects the change of experience value. He quickly came up with a few more ideas, but whether they are useful or not still depends on the recovery of the ability. He can feel that the electromagnetic induction is a bit weak now, probably because he has just mastered it, and he needs to wait for him to develop it, and it seems to be a little stronger with use, which seems to be a bit of use and waste. While Yang Shi was waiting for the ability to recover, Thor, who was covered in dust on the other side, found Loki who was beaten out. Loki was lying on the ground, with a face hole on his chest. Loki, Thor shouted anxiously, holding Loki's upper body with both hands, and looked at the dying Loki, almost crying. Brother, I may not be able to go back. Loki's face was pale, with blood on the corners of his mouth, and he said to Thor weakly. It's okay, it's okay. This time I did something wrong, can you forgive me? Just think of it as comforting me at this last moment. Loki looked very weak, as if he would close his eyes and die in the next second. Definitely, definitely, I forgive you, you will be fine. A tear fell from Thor's eyes, and he agreed anxiously, at a loss. Then can you give me the throne? Just think of it as a comfort to me at this last moment. No problem, the throne is yours. Thor agreed without thinking. You said it yourself, I didn't force you. At this moment, Loki's voice turned and appeared behind Thor, making Thor slightly stunned. The next moment, Loki in his arms smiled at him and his figure disappeared. Thor's face changed drastically, and he looked behind him in disbelief, only to see Loki standing there as if nothing had happened, with a mocking face. You lied to me again. Thor was immediately furious and was about to punch Loki hard, but when he got closer, he found that there was a bloody hole in Loki's chest. Thor stretched out his hand in disbelief and tapped the bloody hole, which made Loki scream in pain. What are you doing? Loki dodged Thor's fingers and shouted angrily. Are you really injured? Thor asked in confusion, looking at the blood on his fingers, which didn't seem like an illusion. Nonsense, that's my father's eternal spear, you would be injured too. Loki said unhappily, in fact, his injury was more serious than it looked. That was because he had a high physical fitness, otherwise he might have died directly, and the telescope actually pierced his body with 90 holes. It's good that you're not dead, let's go back first. Thor didn't get angry at Loki in the end, but instead said, looking at Mjolnir on the ground with a little reluctance, and then quickly retracted his gaze, looking up at the sky, and shouted loudly. Heimdall. As the sound rang, a rainbow rushed down from the sky, enveloping the two people, and when the rainbow faded, the figure had disappeared. Thor returned to Asgard and took Loki to meet Odin. Loki was punished by Odin for the crime he committed on the Blue Star and imprisoned. After the guards took Loki away, Thor asked Odin. Father, why did I see someone holding your Spear of Eternity on Midgard? Was it your will or was it stolen by him? Odin shook his head slowly and looked at the charming scenery in the distance with his only eye. To be exact, he picked it up. But he used the Spear of Eternity to seal my Mjolnir and injured Loki. Do I need to take my workers to conquer him? Thor was surprised to hear such a result and continued to ask. But Odin still shook his head and denied this proposal. He is not as simple as you see. I am afraid that your words will not work. Thor was a little indignant and wanted to refute, but was interrupted by Odin. Let's leave the Spear of Eternity with him for the time being. What about my Mjolnir? You need to solve this problem yourself, Thor. Sometimes the enemy you see may not be your enemy. Odin said meaningfully. 
but that is your eternal spear, you should be able to remove its seal, right? Thor asked in confusion. I don't have much time left, I will soon fall asleep, my child, the future of Asgard is in your hands. Odin said as if he was giving a will. In fact, he was already old, and shooting the eternal spear this time consumed his limited energy, so he could only fall asleep. In the end, Thor could only leave with a heavy heart. Yang Shi had already recovered his ability and continued to do experiments. This time he chose to take out his mobile phone and decided to do an experiment with it. He stared at the screen of the mobile phone with his eyes, concentrating his attention. As soon as he thought, the screen of the mobile phone changed. He could operate the mobile phone without pressing the screen, as if he had a brain interface installed in his brain, using nerves to operate. There are many things that can be controlled by the mobile phone. At first, he just used it to replace his fingers to slide the screen and click on the application, which was easy. But soon he went deeper and contacted the hardware from the software. The next moment, some more pictures appeared in his mind, which were videos stored in the mobile phone before. He could directly read some of the information in it through the storage hardware on the mobile phone. The data contained was too much. He couldn't help but feel a dull pain in his brain. You know, the improvement of his physical fitness is not just muscle. But even so, he couldn't bear it in this vast sea of information. After all, this is the brain, not the hardware. When his brain was about to explode, he chose to stop, think about it, and then continue to spy on the data in the mobile phone. This time he learned to be smart. He simply scanned most of the data and expelled them. Instead, he intercepted the things he wanted, such as some videos and some pictures. In this way, his brain did not feel any load, and he felt much more relaxed. He then opened the entry system and found that his experience value had increased a little, reaching five tenths. Yang Zai's eyes flickered slightly, thinking about something, and soon he had some ideas in his mind. He walked downstairs quickly and stood in the dim living room. He closed his eyes slightly, felt his ability, and directly exiled it from his body. And there seemed to be a kind of wave spreading around in this dim space. At this moment, all the electrical appliances in the house were under his control. The bread machine, dishwasher, coffee machine, oven, refrigerator, etc. all started working, and the speakers played a soft and beautiful music. At this moment, Yang Shi felt that his original limit had been broken at once. He could know without opening the system that his entry had been upgraded. Definitely, he still honestly opened the entry system to watch it. Electromagnetic control, level 2, 25 one hundredths. What surprised Yang Shi was that his entry was not only upgraded, but also his experience points increased so much. This undoubtedly made him more confident in his judgment, and he almost figured out where the experience points came from. It was not about using ability, but attaching ability to more items. The items that could definitely bear his ability must be related to electricity, and the categories cannot be the same. The same category of items seems to only increase his experience points a little. He has not yet fully figured out how big this same category restriction is. Maybe electric toothbrushes of different brands can also be counted as a little experience points, or maybe electric toothbrushes of different shapes can be counted separately, or all electric toothbrushes can only increase a little experience points regardless of their shapes. These all need to be known after he tries. But Yang Shi understands that this time the entry upgrade will not be very slow. His face was a little excited, and he turned into mist and disappeared. He was already a little impatient to rush up the entry level. After leaving the neighborhood of his home, Yang Shi transformed from the mist into a human form, then stepped into the void and quickly rushed towards Manhattan. He thought that the place with the most electrical appliances was not a factory, but the largest shopping mall in New York, which was naturally in Manhattan. However, when he arrived in Manhattan, he could see that the war atmosphere here had not dissipated. From time to time, there were military figures passing through the streets, each one of them was on high alert. It didn't look like the war was over, but it looked like they were preparing for war. He thought about it and understood that although the Space Channel was closed, there were so many Zatori soldiers before, and they did not disappear with the closure of the Space Channel. Maybe they were hiding somewhere secretly. Yang Shi ignored them and flashed past them quickly, leaving before they even reacted. With today's alien invasion, 
the entire Manhattan was the most severely damaged. I don't know how many people died and how many buildings were destroyed. At this moment, most of the stores have been closed. Closed, not open. This makes Yang Shi more convenient, he doesn't have to avoid people. In a blink of an eye, he has appeared in a home appliance city, with only some dim lights, it looks very deserted, but there are also security guards patrolling here. Yang Zai's figure appeared in the lobby on the first floor, which is the most central location of the entire mall, convenient for him to use his ability to radiate outward. He closed his eyes slightly, and the amount of super ability was significantly improved after the entry upgrade. There is no need to go through a long development period, growth period, etc., and it saves a possible long period of exploration and directly advances. This is the benefit brought by the system. The greater benefit is that his super ability has infinite potential. He is a little different from before, far beyond the previous ability control, just a thought, his ability spreads outward like a sound wave and captures all the electrical appliances it touches along the way. Start. The next moment, the electrical appliances in the shops near the first floor started inexplicably, flashing and making sounds, even if their power supply is not connected. The security guard who was sleeping in the monitoring room heard the sound and couldn't help but look at the monitoring. He fell to the ground with his eyes wide open. But after a while, Yang Shi felt that his ability had broken through again, as easy as drinking water. Electromagnetic Control Level 3 2 500s. Yang Shi paused for a moment and looked at the system. Sure enough, the entry had been upgraded. I believe that even those who were mutated by gamma rays could not improve exponentially like him. However, it was still the same as the previous system. The third level entry was really pleasing to the eye, but there was no significant change from the previous entry, or there was no leapfrog change. Generally, this kind of change occurs more often at the fourth level. Once the fourth level entry is reached, it is completely different from the previous one. That is the real leap. Yang Shi felt his ability and felt more handy. He could easily control the nearby electric bodies. However, there was more to it. Yang Shi spread his ability and took over all the monitoring of the entire mall. With just a thought, he directly changed the monitoring screen. He could destroy all these surveillance cameras with a thought, but it was not the same level of difficulty to precisely control and change the surveillance images, and at this moment he was able to do this. I want to call the police, there seems to be an alien sneaking in here. The security guard in the monitoring room had already picked up his mobile phone to call the police. In today's alien invasion, he saw such a strange scene but did not think it was haunted, he even thought that alien creatures had invaded the mall. Are you sure? The police lady who was in charge of answering the phone couldn't help asking a question. After all, today they didn't know how many alarm calls they had received with the same content, but when their police officers went to investigate, most of the situations were not true. Some people even said that the food taken away by rats was stolen by aliens. Quote, quote, the voice on the other end of the phone couldn't help but pause, and the police lady heard a noise, but didn't take it seriously. Definitely a joke, there are not so many aliens in the world. The noise lasted only for a second, and the voice on the other end became slightly mechanical, and if you didn't listen carefully, you couldn't hear the difference. HMPH, sir, I will record your information here. If you receive such a joke call again, our police officers will come to your door to tell you that it is not funny. The policewoman looked ugly when she heard it, and warned solemnly, and then hung up the phone fiercely. In the monitoring room of the mall, the security guard held the mobile phone and said anxiously. It is definitely true, policewoman, please send someone to the door quickly, it is better to call the army, bring all the weapons, and even drive the tanks, otherwise I am afraid you can't deal with the aliens. You should calm down first and follow my instructions. Look at the monitoring again to see if the situation you just described is still happening. The slightly soft voice of the policewoman came from the other side. After hearing this, the security guard couldn't help but look at the surveillance screen, but was stunned. He rubbed his eyes in disbelief and looked again carefully. It seems not, he said with some hesitation. That's it, sir. I can understand that you must have left because of today's nervousness. There are many such people, so don't take it to heart. I suggest you take a good rest. Finally, the security guard hung up the phone, his face was a little dazed, and he looked at the surveillance screen again. Is it really that he is in a trance? And Yang Shi, 
who controlled all this, couldn't help but smile. He felt that he was very suitable to work in an industry now. Whether it is sound or picture, it is basically electromagnetically simulated, and now Yang Shi wants to tamper with all this and prevent others from discovering the abnormality, it is still very easy. Yang Shi was a little surprised. Although such means did not improve his strength much, it was very practical. Definitely, he can do more than that. He can release powerful electromagnetic waves and spread them around, enough to completely scrap all monitoring and communication equipment. As for the means of attack, it is not without, but he feels that he needs to explore it. Definitely, the simplest one is to control metal. Yang Shi stretched out his hand and clenched it slightly. In an instant, some electrical appliances in the mall flew over and gathered together to roughly piece together a shape-shifting King Kong. With a thought, this inferior and powerless shape-shifting King Kong moved and almost fell to the ground. This was to use his electromagnetic control ability to create a strong magnetic force to control metal. This guy in front of him was definitely just a scare at most, and it didn't have much effect. Yang Shi put away his thoughts of playing and continued to do his business. At this moment, it was easier to spread the ability, and the range was a little larger. In a blink of an eye, he included the entire mall in his ability, and all the electrical appliances were running. At this moment, Yang Shi clearly felt that his ability had made another breakthrough. As for the security guard in the monitoring room, he had closed the door and acted like a turtle, hiding under a table and trembling all over. Electromagnetic Field Level 4 241 two thousandths. The entry was upgraded again at a rocket-like speed and reached level 4. Many things were no longer the same in his eyes. Yang Shi stood there for a few minutes. He was actually feeling the newly acquired ability. It was a brand new feeling. It was exactly as he expected. His ability had advanced by leaps and bounds. Domain. Yang Shi looked at his palm and muttered to himself. This feeling was like the accomplishment of a divine skill. He had not realized before that this super ability would reach this level once it was advanced. He looked up and saw a skylight at the top of the mall. It was made of special glass, which allowed the entire space to maintain enough natural sunlight. Yang Shi directly slapped his palm upwards. With a snap, the skylight suddenly broke, and the residue fell down, but it continued to shatter during the fall. Definitely, this is not an ability in the electromagnetic field, but Qigong. Seeing that the obstacle above his head was removed, Yang Shi raised his mouth, stretched out his hands and pressed down suddenly, and the whole person rushed out instantly. In the blink of an eye, he passed through the roof and appeared on the outer layer, and flew out rapidly. Maybe this is called flight, he couldn't help thinking in his heart. This is the ability in the electromagnetic field, which can make the repulsive force of the magnetic field counteract the gravity and realize flight. The third level entry alone cannot do this. However, at this moment, Yang Shi seemed to sense something. He turned his head and saw a figure flying towards him in the dark at a very fast speed. It was a steel armor, but it was not the red and gold color he had seen before, but a silver color, with a Gatling gun barrel on its back. War Machine Yang Shi narrowed his eyes slightly. If he was not mistaken, it should be the war machine driven by Colonel Rhodes. Look what I caught, Tony's crazy fan. Rhodes in the armor looked at the figure and muttered to himself. He did not catch up with the New York War, but was sent here to finish it after the New York War. In short, he was looking for aliens who were alone and killed or detained. Definitely more inclined to detention. The guys in the Ministry of National Affairs also wanted to study the difference between the aliens, bodies and humans. But he didn't expect to encounter a lone unidentified flying object during the patrol. It was wearing an Iron Man mask and looked more like a local. But no matter who it was, he had reason to intervene if it flew over New York without permission. He planned to take it down first to see what it was. As a military officer who did not participate in the New York War, he did not know the information about Yangshi, so he directly increased the thruster energy output and flew towards Yangshi. When Yangshi saw that the other party did not retreat but advanced, he was a little surprised. He didn't expect that someone would dare to chase him like this. If he remembered correctly, he only punched Tony at the beginning. Now a fake and shoddy product dared to chase him. However, Yang Shi did not attack the other party, nor did he get rid of the other party. Instead, he let him follow behind him. 
This was a test product that could be used to test his electromagnetic field ability. So Yang Shi controlled the speed, neither directly getting rid of the other party nor letting him get close, firmly controlling the distance between them, and flew towards the suburbs of New York. It didn't take long for them to reach the suburbs of New York at their speed. Yang Shi landed on her own initiative, and Rhodes also controlled the war machine to fall down. At this moment, Rhodes received a call. Looking at the call, he chose to accept it directly. The next moment, the face of Tony Stark appeared on the virtual screen built into the armor, without wearing combat gear. Hey, Tony, guess what I found, your crazy fan, wearing your mask, looks like a person from the appearance, but can fly, should be a superpower. Rhodes said to Tony happily. Oh, I called you because of this, go. Believe me, he is not someone you can deal with. Tony saw Rhodes's excited look and didn't know how to complain. If Jarvis hadn't told him that Rhodes was chasing a person he marked as extremely dangerous, he wouldn't have called this time. No way, I recently updated the weapon system, even you may not be able to beat me. Rod retorted instinctively, definitely his body was more honest, without any hesitation, he changed direction and flew back. Yang Shi watched the armor suddenly break in the air and quickly flew in the opposite direction, and a smile appeared on his face. Want to leave? Too late. At this moment, Rod found that Tony's picture was suddenly squeezed aside, and there was another picture next to it, which was Tony's visor, and he couldn't help but feel a little strange. Why is there an extra you? Rod asked doubtfully, which made Tony feel a little puzzled. But when he saw it clearly, his face changed. This was not Tony's visor, but a mask. It's that guy. Rod instantly realized that the image was the figure he had just chased. Now that you're here, why are you leaving? Yang Zai's voice suddenly sounded, giving Rod goosebumps. My system has been hacked. Rod immediately realized what was happening and shouted at Tony. J-A-R-V-I-S, scan war machine for viruses. Tony stopped what he was doing, frowned, and said seriously. It was just Yang Zai's electromagnetic field. In his field, an artificial intelligence would not be able to remove him as a virus. Sir, it can't be removed. J-A-R-V-I-S's voice sounded, and Tony immediately realized the seriousness of the problem. The other party seemed to be technically strong, and he immediately opened the keyboard to personally remove the virus. At this moment, War Machine's figure suddenly stopped, then turned around and flew quickly towards Yang Zai's location. I lost control. Rod shouted again in panic, asking for help. Hearing this, Tony rushed into his room quickly, and in less than a few seconds, a golden red figure flew out directly. Hold on. Jarvis replaced Flight in the armor, while he continued to wrestle with Yang Shi. Yang Shi slightly distracted his attention to block Tony's fierce attack, while watching War Machine land in front of him, the visor opened naturally, revealing Rhodes' face. Brother, if you have anything to say, let's talk. Tony Stark is my brother. If you want his autograph, I can ask him to sign it for you. Rhodes forced himself to stay calm, trying to delay time with words and wait for rescue. In fact, he can only talk now, because he has lost all control of the armor, and can't even leave the armor. He has become a fish on the chopping board of others. Yang Shi looked at Rhodes without saying anything, but was actually thinking about something. With his current electromagnetic field, he can directly control this armor from any aspect. He can control the armor by manipulating the shape of electronic devices, and can also control the armor simply by manipulating metal. Yang Shi pushed lightly, and the armor flew backwards at a very fast speed without any sense of stagnation. This is his control of metal. He can already control metal like Magneto. It's a pity that there is no Magneto in this world, otherwise he would like to see who is stronger, Magneto or him. The war machine stopped at a distance, and the Gatling gun barrel behind it moved and aimed at Yang Shi. The next moment, countless gunfire sprayed, and dense bullets gushed out and attacked Yang Shi. Yang Zai's face remained unchanged, and he watched quietly. When the bullets came in front of him, they were suddenly blocked by the circular energy shield around him. This is one of his abilities, the magnetic field barrier. War Machine did not stop, but took out all the weapons on his body, which stunned Rode. He did nothing, or he could do nothing. Bullets, missiles and even lasers all came towards Yang Shi, but in the end they were all blocked by the magnetic field barrier. 
Yang Shi nodded, the effect was pretty good. Next, he tried his attack method. Yang Zai's mind moved, and he directly pulled War Machine over, and the mask fell immediately. He couldn't help but curl up his mouth, and then raised his arm, aiming his palm at War Machine. This moment stunned Rhodes and the Mecha. He said he was not a crazy fan of Tony. Isn't this Tony's signature move? So the person in front of him was imitating Tony's posture. However, the next moment Rhodes couldn't help but widen his eyes and found that energy began to gather in the palm of the other person's hand. The next moment, Rhodes felt a strong energy attack, and his armor was directly rushed out. Yang Shi smiled, he found that he seemed to be somewhat similar to Iron Man now. What Tony did with technology, he could do with ability. For example, this, he stabilized Rhodes' body and continued to raise his palm to Rhodes. Visible to the naked eye. His palm suddenly emitted a bright light, like Tony's palm cannon, but the principle was a little different. The next moment, a beam of light suddenly rushed out and knocked Rhodes out again. Although he didn't understand the principle, he knew that this was inconsistent with Tony's palm cannon because he didn't have an arc reactor. If he understood science, he would know that this was formed by high-intensity magnetic field compression to form plasma, which would also emit light and heat. Even lasers can do it. He seemed to be able to imitate Iron Man directly. To be honest, this electromagnetic field seemed to be only on par with Tony, but it was actually very strong. You have to know that Tony's strongest thing is his brain, which can be ranked in the entire universe. Even the time-space shuttle device can be easily made, it is simply a monster. If he can live longer, he thinks he will not necessarily lose to some big guys in the universe. Definitely, although the situation looks somewhat similar, this thing still depends on the power. If he loses to Tony, it's called piracy. If he wins the other party, Yang Zai's experiment is probably done. As a level 4 entry, its power is not beyond his Qigong. It just looks more fancy. It's no problem to beat ordinary guys. But it's a bit useless to beat big guys. It's not as convenient and effective as Qigong. It's definitely not completely useless. After all, this entry can help him use electrical appliances better and make him a modern man in the true sense. I had already thought about leaving, but since Iron Man was rushing here, why not let him see who is the real Iron Man? After all, he is wearing an Iron Man mask, so how can he not be Iron Man? If a guy wearing an Iron Man mask beats the real Iron Man, the key moves are exactly the same, it's interesting to think about it, but I don't know if Tony's mentality will collapse. I don't know how long it took, a golden red steel figure suddenly appeared in the sky, but he didn't have any martial virtue. Before he said anything, he saw several small missiles shooting at him. It seems that he was scared by the previous beating and didn't dare to get close. Chapter 71 However, the small missile flew only halfway, but suddenly turned around and flew back. What's going on? Tony's face changed and he asked. Sir, the system has been hacked. J.A.R.V.I.S.'s voice came immediately. In the end, Tony could only barely dodge these missiles and use red lasers to break them. In fact, within this range, Yang Shi could have directly taken away Tony's control of the steel armor, but that would be too boring. Tony's face was gloomy, but he still stopped in the air and didn't dare to get close. He believed that Yang Zai's ability must have a certain range and could not be without boundaries, so as long as he kept a safe distance from him, he could reduce the possibility of being controlled. From the current reaction, he was in such a safe distance. As long as he was on guard against Yang Shi approaching him, he could fight him. This inference was indeed correct to some extent. Even if it was a level 4 entry, his ability had a certain range, but it was not so short. Tony looked serious knowing that Yang Shi was not easy to deal with, and gave up other weapons and means transferring the arc reactor's energy to fully output in the energy cannon on his chest. The next moment, the energy cannon on his chest began to charge, and its brightness could be seen getting higher and higher. In order to prevent Yang Shi from rushing towards him at this time, he had already prepared and could retreat at any time. What he didn't expect was that Yang Shi just stood there and looked at him quietly, without moving a step. Such arrogant behavior made Tony very uncomfortable. The other party was blatantly despising him. His eyes became more determined, and he vowed in his heart that he must make Yang Shi pay the price for his contempt. However, this contempt was not without any benefits. 
It gave him more time to charge. The energy in his chest became brighter and brighter, which was particularly dazzling in the dark night. Seeing that the charging value on the virtual screen was full, he chose to fire without hesitation. The next moment, the terrifying light column was instantly stimulated and was about to fall on Yang Shi. Only Yang Shi still did not move, and looked at the light column calmly. At this critical moment, a shield quietly appeared in front of Yang Shi. This was a shield he created by compressing the electromagnetic field. Although he seemed to be casual, he actually took it seriously. It was just right to test the limit of his electromagnetic field. The shield here was the limit of his ability to compress the electromagnetic field. I just don't know how it compares with the defense array of the Ancient One. The dazzling beam of light fell on this shield, and it was so terrifying that it made the air vibrate a little. But it couldn't shake this shield. All the light and heat couldn't get through this shield. Tony's face couldn't help but change, but he gritted his teeth and insisted on output. He didn't believe that the other party's shield could really block the energy of his arc reactor. But the result was very obvious. This shield didn't even tremble. It was very solid, which made Yang Shi very satisfied. Finally, the dazzling beam of light slowly dissipated, and Tony in the armor looked a little frustrated. But suddenly he widened his eyes and saw that Yang Zai's chest, who was standing on the ground, was also glowing, getting brighter and brighter. It looked very familiar. Tony couldn't help but curse. In fact, he had roughly guessed Yang Zai's ability, which could control the electromagnetic field. It was not something difficult to see. His energy cannon could not break the shield created by the opponent's compressed electromagnetic field, which meant that the opponent's compressed electromagnetic field was extremely high. In other words, if the opponent used compressed electromagnetic field as a means of attack, it would not lose to his energy cannon. He did not want to be hit by a beam of light stronger than his energy cannon, so he turned his head to look at Rhodes, only to see that Rhodes was lying on the ground. From the appearance of the armor, it could be seen that Rhodes was not seriously injured, but he could not control the mecha. He had to find a way to take Rhodes away. He quickly had an idea in his mind. As long as he led Yang Shi away and led Rhodes out of the opponent's ability range, Rhodes could regain control of the armor and retreat. However, just as he was about to fly away to attract Yang Zai's firepower and attention, his face changed drastically, as if he found that his mecha had lost control. How could it be? Tony hurriedly looked at Yang Shi, but found that the other party was still standing there, without moving a step. He instantly realized that the opponent's ability range exceeded his calculation. However, when he realized it, it was obviously too late. At this moment, Yang Zai's energy beam was already very dazzling. As his mind moved, the energy beam suddenly shot out, illuminating the sky in an instant. The energy beam hit Tony accurately and shot him out directly. Looking at the smoking steel armor, Yang Shi did not continue to pursue the victory. In the end, he still held back, otherwise the compressed energy might have melted the golden red armor directly. Seeing that the experiment was almost over, Yang Shi no longer paid attention to roads on the ground and Tony who was shot far away. He pressed his hands down, and his whole body flew out in an instant, quickly disappearing into the sky. In a blink of an eye, Yang Shi returned home, and he was not in a hurry. His eyes fell on the golden thunder on the bed, and a trace of thought flashed in his eyes. He stretched out his hand and took it, and the golden thunder flew up and fell into his hand. The feeling of holding the golden thunder this time was completely different from before. He seemed to be able to control the power of the golden thunder. The electromagnetic field actually had something in common with the power of the golden thunder, and then he reached the threshold of using this weapon. As he squeezed it hard, the thunder turned from a solid body into golden lightning, swirling around him like a pet, and then rushed up to bite the enemy under his command. And as his palm was facing up, the thunder quickly gathered and turned into a metal-like weapon. Yang Zai's eyes lit up, and suddenly he felt that Zeus's golden thunder was more suitable for him than Odin's eternal spear. Thunder originally had no entity, the appearance of this weapon was just the shape created by Zeus. In other words, now in his hand, he can actually change a shape. The next moment, the thunder disintegrated into lightning again, condensing on his fingers. As the lightning dissipated, a golden ring appeared on his right hand finger. This ring is exactly Zeus's thunderbolt. Yang Shi was delighted. 
a weapon that can shapeshift is naturally more popular than the Eternal Spear. He couldn't carry the Eternal Spear with him. In the next two days, Yang Shi did not stop upgrading, but it was more troublesome than before. There were only a few commonly used electrical appliances, so he could only find some things that were not commonly used or not daily electrical appliances. He traveled all over the world in the past two days, basically covering all the electrical appliances that can be seen in the world, and soon upgraded the electromagnetic entry to level 5. He originally thought that Yi Wu might be able to upgrade his entry to level 6, but unfortunately many things were classified into the same category and could not increase the experience value. For example, various toys, although they look different, are essentially the same. Electromagnetic King Level 5 2623 He already thought that it was the limit to increase the experience value to this extent. It is unlikely to increase the experience value in the future. Yang Shi felt a little regretful. Maybe he could go to an alien planet in the future. Maybe the types of electrical appliances on alien planets are different from those on the blue planet. But this is not a matter of the moment, because Joseph's family is coming back today. Yang Shi took a taxi early and came to the airport to wait boredly, while thinking about his level 5 entry. Although the name of this level 5 entry is a bit ordinary, it is actually a very realistic description. The king is the true ruler of a country, and those standing on his territory are his subjects. And where is his territory? Probably just one continent. It doesn't sound very wide, but he can move. The change from level 4 to level 5 is more about his ability to achieve a qualitative leap, not the range. He can easily roll up a storm to destroy a city and affect the celestial phenomena with electromagnetics. Definitely, he is not a pervert who wants to destroy the world. About 10 minutes later, Yang Zai's lazy figure straightened up a little, and quickly scanned the airport exit. Four figures were walking out of the door. They were Joseph's family. He hurriedly greeted them. Oh, great, you're okay. Mrs. Rose's eyes scanned Yang Zai's body carefully like a set of scanners, and confirmed that he was fine. She immediately breathed a sigh of relief and hugged Yang Shi tightly. I've said it a long time ago, but you just don't believe it, Aunt Rose. Yang Shi smiled gently and said easily. After the New York incident broke out, Mrs. Rose wanted to rush back, regardless of Yang Zai's obstruction, but because of the post-war cleanup, most of the planes were suspended, so Mrs. Rose did not succeed. After another round of persuasion, Mrs. Rose believed that he was fine, but it was easy to get into trouble if he came back at this time. The aftermath of the war was still there, and although the streets had regained some popularity, the atmosphere seemed much more solemn. Perhaps most people believed that if there was one, there would be another, and who knew if there would be another alien invasion. It's good that you're fine. Joseph and Jesse also gave Yang Shi a warm hug, while Annie pouted and watched from the side, not intending to come forward. Yang Shi took the suitcase from Mrs. Rose's hand, and the group immediately walked towards the parking lot. In a blink of an eye, everyone got on the pickup truck that Joseph had parked here a few days ago and rushed home in a mighty procession. These politicians are too crazy. They are inhumane. Mrs. Rose sat in the passenger seat and looked at the news on her mobile phone with anger on her face. They should be thrown into Manhattan and let them fight those aliens. Joseph said excitedly. After the New York War, the news that Congress threw a bomb into Manhattan quickly fermented on the internet. No one imagined that they would be so crazy that they would ignore the civilians above. Therefore, the entire Congress was surrounded by excited crowds the next day, and even these people broke through the defense boundary, but the soldiers who maintained order on the scene did not dare to do anything and let them rush into Congress to smash and destroy. Originally, this matter was suppressed by S.H.I.E.L.D. and various forces. After all, not much was known and seen, but who let the super-ability awakening of T. Under his experiment, his electromagnetic super-ability is also a hegemon on the internet, like a ruler standing at the top, without having to care about trivial and realistic things like procedures and directly sweeping with strong force. High-rise buildings can be built with just one thought, without having to imagine how the infrastructure should be built specifically. Therefore, whether it is SHIELD or the military and other forces, it is impossible to cover up this matter unless they can directly shut down the internet. Yang Shi can also see that many people have been looking for the guy behind the scenes on the internet these days, but no traces have been found, so they can only honestly take this loss. 
They will pay the price for this. Yang Shi interrupted and said, although it has not been announced yet, he knows that the brain who made this decision this time is afraid of being imprisoned for this. In fact, the arrest documents have been signed by Congress, and this can no longer be hidden from his eyes. Jesse, don't you work in the Stark building? Can you give me a few autographs? Anne suddenly pretended to be cute and acted coquettishly towards Jesse. Don't think about it. The company has reiterated that employees and their accompanying persons are prohibited from asking the boss for autographs or the like. Jesse couldn't help but glance at Yang Shi, and Yang Shi blinked in tacit understanding, hearing the meaning of Jess's words. The accompanying person mentioned in this rule might be him. Jess's previous behavior of asking him to ask for an autograph did indeed cause this rule to fix the bug. Oh, that's a pity. It was not Anne who said this, but Joseph who was driving, which made the others in the car look at Joseph. They didn't expect Joseph to say such a thing. There's no way. His mecca is every man's dream. Joseph said with a slight sigh. After this New York battle, the Avengers became famous directly. The video of them fighting aliens was widely forwarded and liked on the internet, gaining many fans. Iron Man may have just been popular before, but now after the battle in New York, he is considered a national hero, and the stock of Stark Industries has also risen sharply. If possible, I want Captain America's autograph. Mrs. Rose suddenly said with a smile, ignoring Joseph's eyes. After all, Captain America is really handsome and has a great figure. Yang's eyes eyes flickered slightly when he heard it. If he remembered correctly, Mrs. Rose's birthday was coming soon. Maybe he could find a way to get one, but he didn't know if Joseph would be jealous. Yang Shi, don't you have an Iron Man autograph mask? Suddenly Annie looked at him and said coquettishly in an unprecedented tone. It sounded very pretentious, which made T have goosebumps. No way, Yang Shi refused without thinking. Humph, stingy. Seeing this, Annie could only pout and get angry, but she didn't say anything else. She knew that Yang Shi was not someone she could convince with just a few words. Speaking of masks, one of the superheroes who appeared this time also wore an Iron Man mask. Maybe he is an Iron Man fan. Jesse suddenly mentioned that the video she was talking about was the video of Yang Shi destroying the falling building debris with Qigong and killing the passing Chidori. Someone filmed it and uploaded it to the internet. Yang Shi naturally saw it, and he looked very handsome at first glance. Jesse looked at the figure in the video, and her eyes suddenly lit up. She took a screenshot of it and used it as the screensaver of her mobile phone. For some reason, she thought of Yang Shi when she saw this figure. It happened that Yang Shi had this Iron Man mask, which she gave to him personally, and Yang Shi also wore this Dracula costume on Halloween one year. The most coincidental thing is this figure, which perfectly matches Yang Zai's store. It's just that this momentum is a bit domineering, and it doesn't look like Yang Shi. Just looking at this figure, Jesse can spontaneously imagine Yang Zai's face, and a smile can't help but appear at the corner of her mouth. The car drove through the slightly scarred neighborhood with laughter and joy. On the other side, on the top floor of the Stark building, the Avengers were gathering together, as if they were having a party. Tony stood behind the bar and personally adjusted the drinks for several people. This party should have been cheerful, but some people were still worried. I heard that your armor was destroyed by your number one fan. Captain America looked at Tony whose injuries had not yet subsided and was bruised and swollen, and couldn't help asking. The number one fan was naturally Yang Shi. There are many titles for Yang Shi on the internet now, and this number one fan is one of them. After all, it is amazing to chase stars to this extent. Wait, I will get back at you next time, Tony said unyieldingly. That time was a bit of a heavy blow to him. Under Yang Zai's energy cannon, Tony's armor was basically scrapped and there were more wounds on his body. If the other party didn't want to kill him, he would not be able to stand here now. But this did not make him lose confidence. After returning, he devoted himself to the studio regardless of his injuries, preparing to make an anti-anti fan armor, thinking that he would not be so embarrassed next time he met him. After saying this, Tony could not help but glance at Phil Coulson, who was full of sorrow, and blinked his eyes. He remembered that Phil Coulson had been controlled before, and the one who controlled him was the number one fan who beat him up. Maybe that person could hear what they said now. Didn't you go back to Asgard? Why are you back again? Did Loki run away? 
Tony looked at Thor who was drinking and asked. Stop talking. That guy wearing a mask like you sealed my Mjolnir. Otherwise, I should be fighting in the Nine Realms now. Thor said a little depressed. Odin fell into a deep sleep. The brothers went out to fight, but he had to stay here to find a way to unlock the seal of the hammer. It was definitely not without benefits. At least he had time to be with his girlfriend. You lost too. Tony frowned when he heard this. Thor is not Thor. He looks like a show-off. He took my father's eternal spear and sealed my Mjolnir. He also used a divine weapon to make my lightning ineffective. I was restrained by him. Thor couldn't help but complain, thinking that if it wasn't for the eternal spear, he wouldn't have lost. Hearing Thor say this, Tony nodded in agreement, knocked Thor's glass with his own glass, and then drank it all in one gulp. He also felt the same way when facing Yangshi, being restrained. Just cooperate with me. After I sell the Iron Man autograph, I can buy you a gift. In Yang Zai's room, Jesse pulled Yang Zai's arm and said soft words to him, even spending money to bribe him. Jesse was about to earn a large sum of USD. She planned to sell the Iron Man autograph she got before. After all, she was not a real Iron Man fan. Now the Iron Man concept is hot, and Tony Stark's autograph was directly sold for 50,000, 120,000 or 60,000 United States dollars. This is a large income, and Jesse naturally couldn't miss it. Yang Shi was helpless. After a few moves from Jesse, he could only follow Jess's instructions, open the closet, and turn out the Iron Man mask and Dracula costume. There was no other way. Jesse wanted him to cosplay Iron Dracula because she thought Yang Zai's image was very suitable, and there was a ready-made mask and clothes, so Yang Shi had to do it after a series of hard and soft words. After Yang Shi changed his clothes, Jesse pushed the door open and walked in, looking Yang Shi up and down with a look of surprise on his face. Don't mention it, it's quite similar. Jesse giggled, took out his mobile phone and took a few photos of him seriously before giving up. After Jesse left, Yang Shi took off his mask and clothes with a smile. In fact, his clothes are no longer the same as the first ones. Whenever they are damaged or dirty, he will quietly change into a new one, anyway, there are a lot of these things. Looking at this Dracula clothes and Iron Man mask, he was forced to make do with it because he lacked the conditions at first, and now he plans to change into a new set of clothes. As a new costume, it is naturally not a compromise, and the most important thing is to be convenient enough. Like the nano armor developed by Tony Stark in the future, it is good, which can be changed quickly, or Doctor Strange's cape, which can be put on by yourself. It's a pity that Tony doesn't have such technology now, otherwise Yang Shi might come to buy it. He remembered that this technology is not unavailable now, but it's in Wakanda, and maybe he can find an opportunity to customize a set of clothes there. But he's not in a hurry now, he still has to go to school tomorrow. After two days of rest in New York, he finally returned to school. He had already taken many days off, and he couldn't escape this time. He definitely wouldn't give up his life because of his current surge in strength. After all, he has an endless life, so why rush to give up his current life directly? On the contrary, Jesse was free all of a sudden. Both New York University and Stark Industrial Building were in Manhattan, and they suffered a lot. Some buildings at New York University were destroyed and classes were temporarily suspended for repairs. The Stark Building was also affected a lot, but Jessie was so free not because Stark stopped working, but because of her status as an intern. At this moment, only a few people in Stark Building returned to work, and Jessie, as an intern, did not receive a notice to return to work. The next day came in a flash. Yang Shi rode his bicycle to school with his school bag on his back as usual, but he hadn't been so relaxed for some time. Hey, Yang Shi. Just after arriving at school and before parking the car, he heard someone greet him. He knew who it was just by the voice. Long time no see, Peter. Yang Shi looked back after parking the car, his eyes fell on Peter, and his eyes were slightly stunned. You've grown taller. Yang Shi was a little uncomfortable. Peter seemed to have suddenly grown taller. He remembered that he hadn't seen him for many days. Oh, I've been eating a lot lately, and I've grown. Peter's eyes were a little evasive, and he explained hurriedly. Really, Yang Shi said doubtfully, and casually patted Peter's shoulder, but was flexibly dodged, as if under stress. Yeah, 
Ha ha, let's go quickly, it's time for class. Peter smiled awkwardly, as if hiding something. Looking at Peter's back, Yang Shi smiled slightly. This is not growth, it's obviously mutation. I didn't expect that he would mutate directly after not seeing him for a while. However, as far as he knows, Spider-Man in this world is a little different from other Spider-Man. At least his uncle died a long time ago, and it was his aunt who raised him up. Yang Shi smiled slightly, without thinking too much, and quickly followed Peter's footsteps and rushed to the classroom together. At this moment, an accident is happening in the village of Kamar Taj. Under the night, the braided, gloomy Cassie Leas led a group of seekers into the library of Ancient One, killed the librarian, tore a page from a book, and hurriedly escaped using the portal. Cassie Leas looked at the magic ritual recorded on this page with a fanatical look, which could communicate with a certain existence and gain power. When he performed magic according to the ritual on this page, the tunnel between reality and dimension was opened, and a large amount of dark power was poured into their bodies, turning them into immortal dark creatures. Go, help me find this person, as your token of allegiance, he is hiding in a corner of your world. Find him, and I will fulfill your wish. An obscure voice sounded from the entrance, as if only the sound could arouse people's endless desires, and through the entrance it was enough to see the huge figure constructed by dark energy. The next moment, a piece of paper with black flames floated out of the entrance. As it left the dark dimension, the flames dissipated, and it turned into an ancient page of a book. When the entrance to the dimension slowly closed, Cassie Leas dared to raise his crazy eyes, grab the page in the air, and took it in his hand. He found a figure wearing Dracula costume and Iron Man mask. Cassie Leas couldn't help but widen his eyes. He didn't expect Dormammu's mission to be so simple. Isn't this the person he met a few days ago? He then turned the page over. There was a portrait on the back, but this portrait was Yang Zai's real face. The headquarters of the hand, four leaders gathered together. There were originally five leaders, but one of them, Mrs. Gao, was killed by Yang Shi and couldn't even be resurrected. Even though they were the supreme leaders of the hand, they still sat on the side seats. At the front of the hall, there was an evil statue, Beast. It had a rough human shape, but it looked like mucus synthesis, and it was waving like a beast. The silk liquid on its body seemed to have just climbed out of the endless swamp, and the whole face could not be seen clearly. As the four leaders of the hand finished the ceremony, a portrait suddenly appeared on the ground, showing both Yang Zai's iron Dracula image and his real face. In a small town in Texas, Johnny Bray suddenly woke up, and his body burst into flames involuntarily, and in an instant he became a skeleton with his whole body on fire, but the flames did not set the bed on fire. He was still a little frightened, just because he had a dream. A guy wearing a vampire costume and a mask stood on a large piece of bloody bones, as if the bones were his throne. The figure turned his back to him and took off the mask, but suddenly found him, turned his head and stared at him mercilessly like the death god. At that moment, he was awakened by fear, and a word was still echoing in his ears. Guilty. Yang Shi didn't know what happened at the moment, but just after school, he saw Peter quickly carrying his school bag and pushing his bicycle away, looking like he was going to do something good. Yang Shi couldn't help shaking his head, probably guessing Peter's thoughts, probably because the concept of superheroes is hot recently, and he is young and has acquired a lot of skills, so naturally he can't bear it, and he covered his head and went to do justice. Yang Shi ignored it and continued to participate in the activities of the photography club as usual. There was no way, the last time he made up the lie of the photo exhibition made Joseph and his wife take it seriously, and they had high hopes for him, and said that they would use the previous bonus to buy him a better camera. Although he was rejected, he didn't want to disappoint them. Finally, after the photography club's activities ended, he rode his bike back and happened to see a figure flashing across the sky. He almost laughed out loud. That figure was Peter Parker, but the battle suit on his body was too shabby. It was a hooded jacket that could be zipped up to the top of the head. Peter just pulled the zipper all the way down and cut two holes in the jacket. This funny outfit was just too funny. After standing there and laughing for a while, Yang Shi rode slowly towards home in a happy mood. The shadow on the ground kept lengthening in the sunset, as if it turned into an almighty figure. A few days passed in the blink of an eye. At this moment, 
Phil Coulson sat quietly in an office with a smile on his face, but there was a trace of loneliness in his eyes. After the New York War, he went through many rounds of investigation. It can be said that he was not directly defined as a traitor because Nick was secretly protecting him. The reason why he can still stay in S.H.I.E.L.D. is because of his connection with Yang Shi. Nick intends to negotiate with Yang Shi and even recruit him, but he is so elusive that he can only find a few pieces of information even with the vast majority of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s intelligence power. It can only be confirmed that he is hiding in a corner of New York, and nothing else is known. Therefore, Phil Coulson's existence is very important to Nick, but unfortunately Nick has tried to contact Yang Shi through Phil Coulson many times, but it is useless. I don't know whether this contact is one-sided or the other party doesn't want to pay attention to him. In fact, Yang Shi doesn't even know about this. Since Phil Coulson has changed from a hidden agent to an open agent, he has not been of much use to Yang Shi. These have not even thought of projecting their minds on Phil Coulson. When Phil Coulson was in a daze, the office door suddenly opened, and Nick walked in with a file in his hand and sat opposite him casually. Director, Phil Coulson's expression quickly converged. Although he was marginalized by S.H.I.E.L.D., fortunately he got a new job and is still a member of the Avengers team now, and has not been directly removed. I have a task for you. Nick had no expression and pushed the file in front of Phil Coulson. Phil Coulson was slightly stunned. He didn't expect that he could still be assigned a task now. He quickly opened the file bag in surprise and looked at the documents inside. Ten Rings, Phil Coulson murmured. He had heard of this organization. Recently, there is intelligence that a large number of their people have appeared in New York. We need to know their purpose. This organization is too old and has strict personnel screening. Even our agents cannot be inserted into it. Their leader is even more mysterious. There is too little information about him at present, but their members are proficient in martial arts and good at close combat, so you have to do it. Nick Fury introduced quickly. He was really good at close combat. Even the top agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. might not have an advantage against them, so he needed an experienced and powerful guy. After choosing and choosing, Phil Coulson was the most suitable. I will complete the task. Phil Coulson took the task without thinking. At this moment, the people of the Ten Rings appeared in Chinatown. As an ancient organization, the Ten Rings gang's communication form has not changed much with the times. This is also the reason why SHIELD's intelligence ability is invalid in front of them. The seemingly ordinary antique shop owner is actually their intelligence officer. He usually secretly transmits intelligence through family letters and blatantly circulates letters through the postal system. Under the code words, they made contact. The Ten Rings gang took out a paper tube and pulled out a portrait from it. It was Yang Zai's face. At lunchtime, Yang Shi ran to a hamburger shop outside the school and ordered three hamburgers like a big eater before he felt full. Burp. Yang Shi couldn't help but burp, and then he felt that his body had changed a little. He touched his stomach and opened it slightly. The muscle lines became more and more muscular, with hard eight abdominal muscles. If he took off his clothes in public here, he would definitely attract the crazy eyes of all women. He felt that his body had obviously become much stronger, and he probably had some guesses in his heart. He opened the entry system and saw that the entry was indeed upgraded. This time, the upgraded entry was the Superman physique entry, which was upgraded from the original second level entry to the third level. Strongest body, level 3, 1 500. Although it is only a level 3 entry, it can be felt that the physical changes it brings are greater than those of the level 4 blood ancestor entry. After all, this entry can be regarded as a specialized entry, and the physical fitness improvement brought by the blood ancestor entry is more of a byproduct. Feeling the strength of the body a little, he estimated that this level 3 entry alone could be evenly matched with Captain America, definitely if the opponent did not have a shield. Since the last New York battle, he always felt that perhaps the shield was the main body of Captain America. With the shield bonus, anyone could really fight. Yang Shi smiled slightly. The level 3 entry did not help him improve his strength, but it was better than nothing. Although he now had Qigong and super ability, the body was the capital. If this entry could be upgraded to level 5 and level 6, the power it brought would surely be very considerable. Looking at the entry on the system, he suddenly had an idea in his heart, 
Maybe he could slightly speed up the experience value of the body, but he had not tried it, so he would know after trying it. He immediately turned around and walked towards the nearest Chinatown instead of rushing back to school. Looking at the street in front of him, Yang Shi couldn't help but sigh. To be honest, Chinatown is like a landscape, even different from his hometown. Whether it is architecture or culture, it has some ancient style. If you don't know, you might think it is a tourist attraction. Yang Shi bought a string of candied haws and strolled around slowly. Finally, he entered a pharmacy, or a Chinese medicine store. Brother, what do you want to order? As soon as he entered the door, someone spoke in his hometown dialect. I'm a little weak recently. Do you have any tonic medicine here? Yang Shi didn't avoid doctors and spoke frankly. Ha ha, I didn't expect that the little brother is so popular at such a young age, but you still need to be restrained. I definitely have tonic medicine here, but it's not suitable for you. You are young and strong, so you can use milder ones to nourish yourself. The rest can be recovered naturally by your body. We have an old Chinese doctor in our store. Let's take a look before prescribing medicine. The boss pointed to the room covered by a curtain in the side room. No, just prescribe me a tonic, something like thousand-year-old ginseng will do. Yang Shi is not sick so he doesn't need to see a Chinese doctor, and he refused immediately. His entry has always been growing slowly by eating, and today he suddenly thought that since eating a full meal can increase experience points, the effect of food therapy may be better, or even taking medicine directly is not bad, anyway, he is not afraid of eating dead man. Ha ha, little brother, you are joking, I dare not listen to you if you dare to say that, this medicine is not a joke, it will eat dead man, and I still rely on this business to make a living. Quote. When the boss heard Yang Zai's words, his face changed slightly, but he quickly restrained it and said with a smile. Boss, is my medicine ready? Just then, a strong young man with short black hair and slightly tanned skin walked in from outside and said loudly to the boss. You are really punctual, it has been cooked and is warming in the medicine pot. I will bring it out for you. The boss saw the smile of the visitor and immediately answered, deliberately leaving Yang Shi aside. From Yang Zai's words, he didn't want to do his business, so as not to mess up his own store. The boss went into the room behind the store by himself, and only Yang Shi and the young man who just came in were left in the lobby. Yang Shi didn't get angry when he saw this, but turned his eyes to the person who just came in, his eyes flashed slightly, and he casually talked. You don't look sick, why do you need to take medicine? Quote. I am keeping healthy. Quote. The young man saw Yang Shi asking like a familiar person, smiled slightly, and said concisely. Yang Shi nodded with a look of enlightenment. How could Qigong not be considered a way to maintain health? That's right, Yang Shi had a feeling when this guy came in. His qi was invisible in front of him. It was just that he was far inferior to him, but it was enough to make him look at him with new eyes. After all, he had only seen one person who truly cultivated qi, and that was Tai Quan. This guy was the second one. Compared with Tai Quan, his qi was softer, while Tai Quan's qi was stronger. As for who is strong and who is weak, all he can say is that they are all weaklings in his eyes. Your medicine is here. At this time, the boss's voice came, and he came out with a porcelain bowl, which contained black medicine, and ten wisps of smoke could be seen floating from the mouth of the bowl. Yang Shi also looked at the medicine in the bowl. This kid chose to drink medicine even though he was not sick or in pain. It is very likely that this is the other party's secret medicine for practicing qigong or strengthening the body, which is really in line with the tonic in his mind. Let me have a taste. Quote, Yang Shi said directly. The owner of the medicine shop did not hesitate at all, and turned around and handed the medicine to Yang Shi. The young man felt dazed for a moment, and saw his medicine suddenly appeared in Yang Zai's hand. The other party had already put the bowl to his mouth. His face suddenly changed shocked. This medicine can't be drunk. This is his exclusive tonic. Ordinary people will get into trouble if they drink it. In danger, he kicked it out directly. Yang Shi saw the boy who got rid of his hypnotic ability at a very fast speed, and his eyes were stunned, but his hand did not stop obediently. His arm slightly turned to avoid the kick towards the medicine bowl. The bitter warm medicine went directly into his stomach, and he felt that his body was much warmer in an instant. It's over, 
Seeing this, the young man felt that something bad had happened, but he felt that this person was very reckless. How could he dare to drink any medicine? Ordinary people are weak and cannot be tonic. I'm afraid they will have diarrhea for a few days. Why can't I drink it? Yang Shi blinked and asked innocently. He really didn't expect that his current hypnotic ability couldn't even last for a few seconds, or the other party's willpower was far superior to that of ordinary people. Obviously the problem was not with him, so it could only be said that the other party really had such willpower. This was really beyond his expectations. After all, in his opinion, this person's Qigong was mediocre and his willpower was not that strong. But Yang Shi forgot that Qigong was mediocre only relative to him. In fact, those who can practice Qigong are the leaders in martial arts. You know that the weak cannot be supplemented. Unless you exercise regularly, you will probably have diarrhea for a few days. Really, I usually exercise, so it should be fine. Yang Shi casually lifted the hem of his shirt, revealing a strong abdominal muscle, which even the guy felt a little dazzled and was slightly stunned. Oh, that's okay, but this is my medicine, how can you drink it casually? The young man breathed a sigh of relief, but then he remembered the business. This was his medicine. Then I'll compensate you. What's your name? Yang Shi said without much concern. Forget it. Just consider it my bad luck. You can call me Shang Chi. Don't be so reckless next time. Shang Chi finally waved his hand, as if to let it go. He was in no mood to say anything. He left Yang Shi and turned to leave. Seeing Shang Chi leave, Yang Shi turned to look at the pharmacy owner who was hypnotic ability by him. He first checked the system and found that the experience value had indeed increased from 1 to 3. Although not much, it was at least 3 times more efficient. This also proved that Yang Zai's guess was not wrong. Give me a copy of his prescription. He ordered the pharmacy owner directly. Then the pharmacy owner honestly handed over the prescription, but it was all in words he couldn't understand. Right one I can understand, Yang Shi said inexplicably angrily. Soon the boss wrote another prescription. He had never heard of most of the herbs, but a few of the names were familiar to him. Ginseng, deer antler, cordyceps, Ganoderma lucidum, etc. Yang Shi put away the prescription casually, unlocked the hypnotic ability of the pharmacy owner, and left the pharmacy directly. With the prescription, he didn't need to pick up the medicine here. It would be better to let Keenan and Dulu collect it for him. Maybe the older the medicine, the better the effect. He couldn't be sure, but this came from simple values. As soon as he walked out of the door, he saw Shang-Chi didn't leave, but was blocked by someone and seemed to be arguing about something. Yang-Chi naturally didn't want to meddle in other people's business, and wanted to leave immediately. However, at this moment, the few people who were arguing with Shang Chi glanced at him casually, but their eyes were fixed directly. When Yang Shi noticed something and turned his head to look, he saw that several people had turned their heads and seemed to have just glanced at him casually. However, Yang Shi stopped directly and looked at those people. He could feel that although the other party's eyes were not on him, they were still observing him. Yang Shi couldn't help but reach out and touch his face to make sure that the mask was not on his face, so why did the other party stare at him? His eyes narrowed slightly, and he turned to walk towards Shang Chi. At this moment, he could even hear the heartbeats of those people speeding up. He had just walked a few steps, but suddenly turned his head to look at a place, thinking that it was a coincidence today, it was so lively. Phil Coulson, wearing casual clothes, appeared in Chinatown. This was rare. People who were seen wearing suits and leather shoes on weekdays were basically dressed in suits. Maybe Phil Coulson was just on vacation. But when Phil Coulson looked over here, his eyes met with Yang's eyes, but he was actually secretly observing the people who were confronting Shang-Chi, Yang Shi felt that things were not that simple. Then he retracted his gaze, and his footsteps did not stop. Instead, he passed by Shang-Chi's side. He could feel that those people were extremely alert at this moment, and their heartbeats kept ringing, which sounded like alarms in his ears. I won't go back with you, you can give up on this idea. Shang Chi said to the group very firmly. Until he was a little further away from them, Yang Shi clearly heard Shang Chi speaking loudly, and at this moment he also knew the origins of these people. The Ten Rings Gang. He naturally knew who Shang Chi was, after all, he was a rare martial arts superhero, 
and he didn't expect to meet him in Chinatown, and he didn't expect the Ten Rings gang to show up, and they were targeting him. Since the young master doesn't want to, we won't force it. Zhao Hao Hao, the people of the Ten Rings gang winked at the people around them, no longer trying to persuade them, and seemed to have given up directly, and turned to leave, but the direction they left was surprisingly the direction Yang Shi left. Shang Chi looked at them and was a little unbelievable, but before he could react, several people hurriedly left, which made him feel abnormal all of a sudden, his eyes became sharp, and then he quietly followed them. At this moment, Yang Shi was quite speechless. He could feel that there were several groups of people following him, the Ten Rings Gang, Shang Chi and Phil Coulson. As an agent, Phil Coulson naturally easily discovered that Shang Chi was following his target, and that the target was following Yang Shi. It can be said that Yang Shi has entered Phil Coulson's sight. Yang Shi slowly led the way in front, thinking in his heart, and probably had some guesses, but whether it was as he guessed, he had to ask. After leaving Chinatown, he did not rush to the school, but walked towards a remote place, and at the same time divided his mind and fell on Phil Coulson. Anyway, Phil Coulson is also one of his own to some extent. After all, it is impossible to escape his control. Let's play our role now. Yang Shi was doing two things at once and directly took control of Phil Coulson's body. Phil Coulson didn't expect anything and found that he had lost control of his body and turned into a bat. It's you. What do you want to do? Phil Coulson immediately questioned in Yang Zai's mind. Yang Shi pretended not to hear him at all, flapped his wings and passed by Shang Chi, and soon caught up with several people from the Ten Rings gang. Instantly transformed from a bat into a human form, with sharp nails growing on his fingers, and launched a surprise attack directly. However, what Yang Shi didn't expect was that under such a surprise attack, the opponent actually reacted directly and dodged it as if he was under stress. His fingers only brushed the opponent's neck, leaving a shallow blood mark. At this moment, the opponent quickly drew out two knives from his waist, and with a flash of silver light, he wiped his neck fiercely, fiercely and decisively. Phil Coulson quickly retreated, and only then did he avoid the ten forces that wiped his neck. As for why it was Phil Coulson dodged it because after launching the surprise attack, Yang Shi gave up control and planned to watch the battle. Phil Coulson's face was gloomy, and he cursed in his heart. He never thought that the other party would do such a thing to him, controlling his body to attack others, and then giving up control when the other party counterattacked, as if he wanted him to die. At this moment, his heart was full of frustration. The key is that Yang Zai's action directly caused his tracking plan to fail, and his task of gathering intelligence also alerted the enemy. I'm not helping you because I see that you are too bored to track. You should be serious. These people are not weak. The most important thing is that the weapons are pure silver. Don't fall into their hands, or you will really die. Yang Shi felt Phil Coulson's emotions and couldn't help but comfort him casually. In fact, he wanted to use words to disrupt his judgment, so that Phil Coulson just thought it was his prank, not because of anything else. Pure silver, Phil Coulson was shocked when he heard it. He looked over and found that the double swords in the man's hand were pure silver weapons. This was really strange. Ordinary weapons could not use pure silver. It seemed that he wanted to deal with vampires. At this moment, all kinds of thoughts flashed through his mind, but the double swords had already chopped. The sharp sword wind came towards him. Phil Coulson relied on the speed of the vampire to dodge, but the sword light was extremely fast. It kept slashing continuously and forced Phil Coulson to have no resistance. There was no melee weapon on his body to resist. Kung Fu, Yang Zai's surprised voice sounded in Phil Coulson's mind. It was not that he was making a fuss, but the man's swordsmanship was sharp, like a rolling wheel, one sword after another smoothly, even Yang Shi had only seen such a scene on TV. If the double swords were compared to fists and feet, this man was at least at the same level as Master Yi. In a short time, Phil Coulson's casual clothes, which he had not worn for many years, were already tattered. Just as the blade was about to rub Phil Coulson's belly, his figure disappeared instantly and turned into a puff of mist. But the other party was not surprised at all, and looked around with a serious look, like a cheetah waiting for battle, ready to pounce at any time. The other two were not watching the show either. They licked their dry lips, threw their coats, and revealed the scabbard at their waists, which was a dagger. This dagger was only half an arm long, but it looked very delicate. 
There were copper-colored whirlwind patterns on the hilt. They pulled the hilt and threw the scabbard, revealing the sharp blade, and then dispersed and stood. It was actually only a few seconds, and Phil Coulson also condensed into a human form from the mist again, but he was no longer unarmed as before. He was holding a pistol in his hand. As soon as the figure condensed, he shot at the double-blade warrior without hesitation. At this moment, the double-knife warrior threw out a knife, and Yang Shi could even see the bullet being cut in half by the blade. The moment the double-knife warrior threw out a knife, he rushed towards Phil Coulson like a cheetah. At this moment, even Yang Shi was shocked. He seemed to see an assassin, who evaded Phil Coulson's shots flexibly, and successfully took the knife that had just been thrown, and then moved forward to face the bullets, and chopped them on the bullets with great precision, which made him open his mouth. Finally, he came in front of Phil Coulson and forced Phil Coulson to turn into mist again. Just looking at the double knife warrior, although his eyes looked around mercilessly, and he held the double knives majestically, there was a blood hole on his black clothes, and blood was flowing out. This man is still a flesh and blood body after all. Although Yang Shi thinks he has reached the peak of human beings, he will still bleed when shot by bullets. At present, it seems that Phil Coulson has the upper hand, but when Phil Coulson appears again, he is besieged by three people. It was already very difficult to fight one against one, and now it was one against three, which was beyond his ability. Yang Shi felt that even if he controlled Phil Coulson's body, it would still not be much better. Phil Coulson now understood what the director meant by being good at close combat. He felt that even Hawkeye, Black Widow and others would not have the upper hand, especially when they were besieged. Definitely, martial arts is martial arts. If Phil Coulson had been prepared, he would not have been so embarrassed. The opponent was strong in close combat, but the automatic rifle was not weak either. Seeing that Phil Coulson was unable to resist, she wondered if he needed to take action himself. Stop. At this moment, Shang-Chi appeared, inserted into the battlefield, and directly knocked a machete out with a nunchaku in one hand. The people of the Ten Rings gang saw their young master appear, looked at each other, stared at Phil Coulson closely, and finally chose to retreat, but they also lost the target of tracking. Are you okay? Shang-Chi looked at Phil Coulson and asked. It's okay. Phil Coulson couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. It's okay now, but it will be a big problem if it goes on. He looked at the direction they left, and he was still a little afraid. He was afraid that he would never use a pistol to deal with these guys next time, but this time he was just following them. However, not long after the few people left, another figure stared at them. Wearing a Dracula suit and an Iron Man mask, it was Yangshi who returned home. This place was not far from home. With his speed, it was not a problem to go back and forth in a very short time. Yang Shi didn't even have to wait for them to go to a remote place before taking action, because they walked through remote areas all the way, and there was no camera. These people seemed to be very good at avoiding cameras, as sharp as the sense of smell of hyenas. Yang Shi landed in front of them with a flying step, blocking their way. After sensing the passing figure, they took out their weapons very vigilantly, but when they saw Yang Shi, their faces changed, not because of fear, but as if their petty theft was discovered. It seems that you know me. Yang Shi narrowed his eyes slightly, and their body's instinctive reaction was enough to explain it all. However, they did not have the habit of talking nonsense, and they rushed over like hounds, with sharp teeth. It was a threat to Phil Coulson, but not to him. Yang Shi waved his palm lightly, and the invisible force turned into a strong wind to blow the three people back. Puff, several people flew backwards, barely standing firm, but suddenly their faces flushed, ten mouthfuls of blood suddenly spurted out. Yang Shi looked calm, his power was not just as simple as wind, under the soft appearance, he could crush the boulder into powder, from the inside out. For humans, just one blow can cause internal injuries, even if they look unharmed on the outside. The reason why Tony was able to survive under his power was that he held back. Tell me, your purpose. Yang Zai's calm voice spread in this unmanned area, and the eyes of several people were dazed for a moment, but they quickly woke up and looked at the latter with vigilance. Even though Yang Shi only waved his palm to make them seriously injured, and even standing up was a little difficult, but there was no fear in their eyes. Several people looked at each other with firm eyes, and the next moment they all raised their weapons and suddenly wiped their necks. 
The sharp blade directly cut their throats, and a lot of blood spurted out. Yang Shi frowned slightly and watched them die quietly. In fact, he could have stopped them. In front of him, it would be difficult for these people to die. But at the moment when the other party wiped his neck, a word popped into his mind. Death warriors, Yang Zai's hypnotic ability was not effective. Unless he was proficient in interrogation, he could not ask anything from these people. So he did not stop them. The key was that he also knew the origin of the other party. The only one who could be connected with Sheng Qi was Wang Wanbang. Yang Shi grabbed forward with his palm, and a bamboo tube flew out from the clothes on the chest of one of them, and he caught it in his palm. Yang Shi had seen this bulging thing when Phil Coulson was fighting with them. He opened the lid of the bamboo tube, and there was a rolled up paper inside. He pushed the paper forward and saw it floating in the air and slowly unfolding. On it was his real portrait and the portrait of Iron Dracula. Yang Shi looked at the portrait calmly. When he met them, he had already guessed it in his heart. He didn't expect the guess to come true. In fact, he had expected it. Ancient One had mentioned this matter before, so Yang Shi was mentally prepared. His mask was nothing in the eyes of those big guys, and there was no possibility of any obstruction. Even a magician with a little level could see his true face through the soul. Maybe he was a little worried before, but now he feels okay. Under the fifth level electromagnetic monarch, he would not be afraid even if he faced Ancient One, let alone others. Just looking at the people on Blue Star at this moment, how many people can really help him? Above his domain, he is the king, and these people have not threatened his ability. Definitely Yang Shi has not forgotten Joseph and the others. It seems that he is far away from them at this moment, but in fact he knows their situation very well. Even if someone suddenly shoots at them with an AK, none of these bullets can fall on them. This is Yang Zai's confidence in the fifth level entry now. He can even boldly say that as long as they are in his kingdom of God, unless the opponent is stronger than him, they can't hurt them at all. At least the creatures on Blue Star can't. Yang Shi glanced at the portrait, and the portrait suddenly gave birth to fire and burned to ashes in an instant. As for the three bodies on the ground, they released strong heat through the compressed electromagnetic field. After a while, they couldn't even leave ashes. It seems that no resurrection method can work on them. Ten Rings Gang Yang Shi didn't remember when he offended them, but they could come with his portrait, something that even Shield didn't have, which meant that there was someone behind them. At this time, Yang Shi already knew that his identity was already exposed. By then, organizations with a little intelligence would naturally know his identity, and it would be too late to stop him. Yang Shi couldn't help but touch the golden ring on his right hand, his face still calm. In this case, let them know what kind of threshold is needed to find him, and it can also save a lot of trouble. At this moment, the golden ring turned into many golden lightnings, condensed in the air, and reproduced the golden thunder form, like a metal javelin with a smooth surface. Yang Zai's body then floated in the air, and the terrifying electromagnetic field released dazzling lightning, which continued to merge into the golden thunder. He was injecting energy into the golden thunder, or charging it. As the energy was injected, the golden thunder emitted golden light and slowly became brighter. Yang Zai's body slowly floated towards the sky, like a slowly rising sun, without any disguise. At this moment, the people nearby only felt that the sky was a little dazzling, and they couldn't help but look up and saw the figure they saw on the internet, holding the divine light at this moment, as if ascending. Phil Coulson, whose clothes were torn, could not help but stay where he was, with his mouth slightly open. He was nearby. Phil Coulson's body trembled, and he soon realized that the other party's manipulation of him was not a funny prank, but had some purpose. Yang Shi floated higher and higher, and in a blink of an eye, it seemed that he had become the son of the whole New York, causing everyone to stop what they were doing and look up in astonishment. Thor, who was walking on the street with his girlfriend, could not help but stop and look at Yang Shi in the sky, with his eyes wide open in disbelief. He could feel how terrifying the thunder power in Yang Zai's hand was, and he was obviously Thor. Tony of Stark Building stopped what he was doing after receiving the reminder from JARVIS, lifted the eye mask, and quickly came to the window. Standing on the top floor of this building, he could see Yang Zai's figure very well, especially the dazzling golden light, which made him put down the mask again. What is he going to do? 
Nick Fury stood in front of a file-sized screen as big as a wall, watching Yang Shi slowly ascending into the air, and asked angrily, but no one answered him. He had received many inquiries from above, and he couldn't understand why Yang Shi was so ostentatious, just like Tony Stark taking off his pants in public, what was he going to do, couldn't he be more low-key? And Kamar Taj's ancient one also looked sideways in that direction, with a very serious face, she could feel that Yang Zai's power had become stronger again, how long had it been? If this continued, the world would definitely be more chaotic than she imagined, it seemed that the plan to train a successor had to be accelerated, and such a mess would be left to the future Sorcerer Supreme to worry about. Yang Shi naturally intended to show himself in front of everyone, perhaps he needed to let everyone know how powerful he was, otherwise they would think he was some kind of little Kayla who was easy to mess with and kept harassing him. At this time, New York had already reacted, and many armed helicopters had appeared over New York, and there were even fighter jets carrying missiles. But when they approached, they found that the system failed directly. They seemed to be frozen in time and violated the rules of physics. Yang Shi did not just charge the Golden Thunderbolt. He used his super ability to find the shield database and quietly controlled their unconnected computers to get the data he wanted. Although there was not much information about the Ten Rings gang, at least they had a grasp of several of their bases. Seeing that he had attracted enough attention, Yang Shi stopped and threw the Golden Thunderbolt in his hand in front of everyone. The Golden Thunder flashed by. Almost at the moment when he threw the golden thunder, it appeared on a land, without any sound, terribly quiet, as if the golden sun had set. The power of the golden thunder erupted on this land, without any sign, and instantly turned into a golden sea of thunder. At this moment, the people in the base did not even see the sun, and their bodies turned into charcoal. Then there were bursts of explosions, which were the sounds of various machines exploding, the debris of the building splashed, and the whole base was filled with flames and dust. The golden thunder had already turned into many golden lights and disappeared into the sky, and recondensed into golden thunder in Yang's eyes' hands. In the eyes of Thor, Tony, Nick and others, they only saw the golden thunder disappear in Yang's eyes' hands for a moment, and then reappeared, and the dazzling golden light also disappeared, like a magic trick. In the eyes of ordinary people, they only saw that the extra sun in the sky went out. Yang Zai's eyes flickered slightly, and with a thought, the golden thunder turned into a golden meteor again, and a golden ring appeared on his finger. Then, he flew away in front of many people, like an actor leaving the stage after a performance. At this moment, Nick Fury and Tony Stark couldn't help but frown, not thinking that the matter was so simple, and the other party's open appearance must have a deep meaning for such behavior. Quick, I want to know what he did. Nick Fury shouted to the agents around him. And Tony Stark was also using JARVIS to find out what happened, and soon found that huge amounts of energy bursts had occurred on another continent, like a natural disaster. Yang Shi quickly flew back home, took off his clothes, and reappeared in a public toilet. In the nearby surveillance camera, he really seemed to have gone to the toilet and came out after solving the problem. Then he continued to walk towards the school, and the lunch break was almost coming. Things seemed to have ended, but in fact they had just begun. All intelligence agencies started working frantically, trying to find out what happened. Until the end, even the intelligence agencies did not dare to believe what they found. They did not believe that in such a short time, this person released a force more terrifying than a missile in a territory across a long land and an endless ocean. Let's not talk about how strong this force is, the key is time. They can only take one step and the opponent's attack has crossed half of the blue planet. How can they accept this? This means that they have no way to stop this attack, because even if the defense means are activated spontaneously, it will take time, and the time for this defense means to be activated is enough for them to die many times. Such power directly makes those upper-class people sitting at the top of the pyramids unable to sit still. As long as that person has this idea, they will die directly without any way, and the sense of crisis and fear in their hearts will completely erupt. The people above are anxious, and the people below are naturally busy. For example, Nick Fury, his time is accurate to the second, and he has to attend various meetings. And obviously someone will ask him such a question at the meeting. Can you block his attack? This question made Nick Fury roll his eyes. But Nick Fury did not gain nothing. 
he pushed Shield to the bottom and finally got some useful information. A portrait was placed in the Avengers, meeting room. In fact, Nick Fury was a blessing in disguise. When Yang Zai's power was revealed, the upper-level people seemed to find that it was impossible to deal with Yang Shi with their power, so Nick Fury's value increased rapidly. Therefore, under the instructions of all parties, S.H.I.E.L.D. received much higher authority and financial support than before. The Avengers team, which had not been approved and supported, was directly established. In the eyes of the upper-level people, these strange people were no threat in front of that person. There was no way. Yang Shi was now like a sun that was about to fall, and other meteorites were nothing. There was a long table in the spacious meeting room, and the members of the Avengers team sat in front of the long table. Phil Coulson sat here somewhat awkwardly, accepting the gaze of others, feeling a little uneasy in his heart. Should he really sit here? In fact, other people thought so too. They looked at Phil Coulson with a strange look in their eyes. Perhaps they were wondering if Phil Coulson would suddenly attack them. If this was not a bad thing, they were afraid that a golden light would appear in the middle of the meeting. So at this moment, Tony was wearing a suit of armor, and it seemed that he had no intention of taking it off. Snap! The door of the conference room suddenly opened, and everyone looked over. Nick Fury walked in calmly, looking like he was sure. Nick, should I really stay here? Seeing Nick walk in, Phil Coulson asked first, and he even suspected that Nick might have forgotten to take him out. Oh, no no, you definitely should be here. Before Phil Coulson got up, Nick quickly came to Phil Coulson's back and pressed Phil Coulson's shoulders. Instantly, everyone else looked at Nick in confusion. If they remembered correctly, they came to the meeting because of the man who claimed to be the blood ancestor, and Phil Coulson was the vampire transformed by that man, and he could even completely control Phil Coulson. Everyone thought that Phil Coulson was here, so any word they said might be heard by the other party. If that was the case, why did they do this? I think there's no problem. At this time, a voice suddenly sounded, and the others turned around and found that the words were spoken by Tony. They were a little puzzled, and quickly thought about the intentions of the two people. The people present were basically not stupid. Except for a few people, they soon figured out the purpose of Nick's arrangement. It was to let the other party hear it, so that everything seemed fair and square, so that the risk of the golden light appearing would be reduced. Nick immediately opened the folder in his hand and handed the documents in it to everyone at the table. After receiving the documents, the others quickly read them, and their faces suddenly became exciting. Is this true? Tony said in disbelief, looking at Nick. The document clearly stated Yang Zai's true identity. Since the New York battle, he has paid close attention to Yang Shi. After all, he was punched away by the opponent, but he could not find Yang Zai's true origins no matter what. Now S.H.I.E.L.D. has such complete information, which is too hard for him to accept. Definitely. This file is the highest level of confidentiality. If you are not a member of the Avengers, you are not qualified to see it. Nick sat down, nodded, and reminded. In fact, it is not easy to get this information. They wanted to enter Yang Zai's face on the computer, so that it would be easier to find Yang Zai's information. However, every time they wanted to enter it, the system would be invaded, followed by failure, and finally the entire computer would be scrapped, so it could only be circulated in paper form. How did you find it? Tony asked while flipping through it quickly. In fact, we got it from some secret organizations. We found out from them that it was there, God, who ordered them to find it and left them a portrait. Nick did not hide it and spoke frankly. Oh, he is a 15-year-old child. Hawkeye suddenly screamed as he looked at it, very shocked. For him, 15 years old is really a child's age. This is too ridiculous. Others couldn't believe it either, and shouted in surprise. Nick ignored their shock. After all, he was more shocked than them when he found Yang Zai's identity. He stared at Phil Coulson, looking into his eyes, wanting to know if that person was secretly observing or had already controlled Phil Coulson's body. Nick wanted to use this meeting to lure Yang Shi out, which would be the best. In other words, the reason why this person made such a scene was because his identity was exposed. Tony looked at the information and quickly discovered the truth. That's right, Phil Coulson was sent out by me to perform a mission to test the purpose of the Ten Rings gang appearing in New York. Then he found that the Ten Rings gang was following Yang Shi, and then that scene appeared. 
The place he destroyed was a base of the Ten Rings gang. Quote. Nick nodded, and his conclusion was the same. This scene was not so much revenge as it was a show for them to see, the other party was showing off their muscles, and this really scared the politicians. If someone dared to threaten them in the past, the politicians would not care how many soldiers would die, they would just take them down forcefully, but now no one mentioned this. It can only be said that the effect is very good. And just in case, Nick has already sent out the people of S.H.I.E.L.D. to prevent some people with ulterior motives from approaching Queens and avoiding provoking the other party. To some extent, he is the other party's bodyguard. After reading the information, let's talk about how to treat such a person. Nick saw that they had read almost everything, knocked on the table, and spoke. However, except Thor, everyone present knew that the method described in this meeting with Phil Coulson must be very gentle. There was a moment of silence, and no one took the initiative to speak, until Nick's eyes became a little stern, and his eyes swept over several Avengers. Well, how about absorbing him into our Avengers? Hawkeye spoke first, but this word directly attracted the strange eyes of others, as if to say, are you serious? Very imaginative idea, next. Nick nodded, and his eyes fell on others. Hawkeye smiled awkwardly, anyway, he had already proposed a calendar. Although we had some conflicts last time, it does not mean that we have opposing positions. His strength should be able to cause some of us to be seriously injured or killed, but after several contacts, we are still alive. Maybe his attitude towards us is not that bad. We can try to talk to each other. Captain America said calmly. I don't feel that he held back last time. Tony couldn't help but refute. Whether it was being hit by the opponent's energy beam last time or being knocked away by the opponent's air punch during the New York battle, he felt very bad. But since the other party is angry because of the Ten Rings gang, we can start from this aspect, destroy this gang first as a sign of sincerity, and at the same time help the other party conceal their identity so that everyone can keep out of each other's way. Tony said immediately, his face slightly more serious. His real purpose is to stabilize the other party first, and wait until his anti-anti powder armor is developed. Tony's idea is good. Nick nodded and agreed with Tony's proposal. He is not without his own thoughts. This time, Phil Coulson was invited to the scene. He wanted to send a goodwill to the other party to stabilize the other party. As for privately, he had already pressed a button on a pager and contacted Captain Marvel who was still maintaining peace in the universe. In his opinion, only Captain Marvel could solve this matter, and now the situation has become so serious. It seems that all their lives are in the hands of one person, which he cannot accept. Maybe we go to his house to talk to him. Captain America was thoughtful and did not object to this proposal. Will it make the other party feel that we are going to encircle him, and then? Dr. Banner couldn't help but speak, making a gesture of scratching his neck with his palm. Is there any better way to contact? Nick seemed to be asking others, but his eyes fell on Phil Coulson. I think this method is good. As for face-to-face -face talks, there is no need. Phil Coulson suddenly spoke but at this moment, his face did not have the signature smile and uneasy look that he had when he acted as an invisible man at the beginning. Instead, he looked extremely calm and composed, with calm eyes. He leaned back and leaned directly on the back of the chair, sweeping his eyes over the people present. Others looked at him one after another, and except Thor, everyone else's face changed. Mr. Yang Shi, welcome to our meeting, I am Nick Fury, S.H.I.E.L.D. No need to introduce, I know everyone present. Yang Shi waved his hand directly, interrupting Nick's introduction. I heard what you said just now. It's very sincere. I can accept it. Yang Shi had indeed been listening secretly from the beginning. After all, the class was a bit boring, and there was such a big scene waiting for him here. How could he be absent? Then how far can you go? Tony stared at Yang Shi and asked a very oppressive question. Why, you want to restrict my freedom, can you do it? Yang Shi smiled softly and asked provocatively. How do you know you can't do it if you don't try it? Tony didn't seem to want to give in. He really meant it. Quote quote. Tony. Captain America on the side couldn't stand it anymore and shouted, trying to stop Tony from making such provocative remarks. Did you succeed last time? Yang Shi didn't take it seriously, but just asked a question, which silenced Tony on the spot. Last time when he went to rescue Rhodes, he didn't even touch Yang Shi. Okay, 
brothers, calm down, we are negotiating. Doctor. Banner saw that the atmosphere was a little tense and hurried out to ease it. In fact, he was the most nervous on the field, and he felt that if this atmosphere continued, he would be unable to control Hulk. Tony's words are not without reason, Mr. Yang Shi, we have expressed our sincerity, shouldn't you? Nick was no longer silent at this moment, and continued to follow the topic Tony had just talked about. Although all this was just a verbal promise, even if he regretted it later, no one would restrain him, but he wanted to know the other party's attitude through Yang Zai's answer. At least I won't do it to you when I have nothing to do. Hearing Nick say this, Yang Shi said casually, or this is what he once promised Ancient One, even if Pandora's box was annihilated by that existence in the universe. Nick's eyes flashed, although this promise is useless, but at least it represents Yang Zai's camp, more inclined to neutrality, which is good news for them. The Ten Rings gang will solve it as soon as possible, you don't need to worry. Nick immediately smiled and assured. If you don't have a clue, I can give you a clue. Quote. Yang Shi suddenly said, with a meaningful smile on his face. He turned his head to look at the projector above his head, and with a thought, the projector started instantly, projecting a picture, which was a portrait. Others looked very unfamiliar, only Nick, Natasha Romanoff and Hawkeye's faces changed slightly when they saw the portrait. Ten minutes ago, this person called the people of the hand and passed on my house number and other details. From him, I learned that the reason why the Ten Rings gang came to me was to make a deal with the hand. Quote. Yang Shi said calmly, but cold sweat broke out on his back. He believed that Yang Shi could find out this, so it was impossible for him not to know that this person was an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. He suddenly recalled Yang Zai's promise just now, and now it seemed that it was time to fulfill this promise. Tony didn't think there was anything unusual, so he took out a small transparent tablet, took a picture of the screen on the projection cloth, and then said, J-A-R-V-I-S, check his identity and background. No need. Nick suddenly stopped Tony. Others who didn't know the truth looked at Nick Fury in confusion. It was my negligence. I didn't expect that there was a traitor in S.H.I.E.L.D. Nick apologized to Yang Shi with a serious face. At this moment, other people couldn't help showing a look of shock, and looked at Nick with a complicated look. Hee hee, I just provided a clue. As for what you do, don't worry about it. Yang Shi smiled slightly, but he didn't think it was strange that there was a traitor in the snake shield. He also knew why the Ten Rings gang came to him. He didn't remember that there was any big boss behind the Ten Rings gang. Now the problem was with the hand, which seemed reasonable. After all, the resurrection method of the hand was originally related to certain dimensions. After saying this, Yang Shi went offline directly, withdrew his mind, and no longer paid attention to the things over there. If S.H.I.E.L.D. was asked to solve the Ten Rings gang for him, he didn't believe it. But now the Avengers are here to help him solve the problem, that's good. Although he thinks no one can deal with him in his territory, he can't leave now. There are many people who want to find him now, and he has to stay here to avoid any trouble for his family. In this case, it's better to let the Avengers take action. With Phil Coulson in it, even if these Avengers can't do it, he can just throw the thunder remotely. What he lacks is just intelligence. It's just that he can't go to Kunlun for the time being. Yang Shi feels a little bit sorry, but this matter is not very urgent. Now he already has the fifth level entry in his hand, which is almost enough. Even if the Qi Guan Chong Hong entry is upgraded to the fifth level, it will not bring a huge improvement in strength. It is enough for the time being. And Qi Guan Chong Hong is not far from upgrading. He can also upgrade it to the fifth level if he devotes himself to cultivation. It doesn't take long. A few days passed in the blink of an eye, and Yang Shi appeared in a luxurious villa in Brooklyn. In front of him stood Keenan, who was full of respect, half bowed humbly, showing a flattering smile. In fact, there are also good things about exposing one's identity. He doesn't need to hide some resources. For example, the villa in front of him was jointly given to him by Keenan and Dulu. Master, all the herbs you want have been delivered. You can start brewing at any time. Keenan said softly, like a professional butler. Originally, he felt both uneasy and excited about Yang Shi summoning him. Because Yang Zai's affairs inevitably spread throughout the world, Everyone knew that someone destroyed a base of the Ten Rings gang in the blink of an eye, and no one survived. 
This godlike power scared these people who lived in the dark half to death, and they listed Yangshi as a taboo that could not be touched. And Keenan and Dulu naturally heard about this matter, and they knew that the other party was their master. There was no fear, only joy in their hearts. As slaves, the stronger Yangshi was, the more proud and loyal they were. At the moment, he was so happy to hear Yangshi order him to do something, and even to meet him in person instead of Dulu. He felt that he had already won the battle with Du Lu. Even when he saw Yang Zai's youthful face, he was not surprised at all. After all, the appearance of vampires cannot represent their age. Start brewing, Yang Shi said lightly while half lying on the soft sofa. The medicinal materials that Keenan mentioned were naturally the prescriptions from Shang Chi. With the resources of Keenan and Du Lu, they were all replaced with aged medicinal materials, at least several decades old, and as for the most thousands of years old, it is a rare thing in the whole world, but it is too easy for a force like the blood ancestor to get it. An hour later, Keenan brought a bowl of steaming liquid medicine, and next to it there was a bowl of sugar water, which was specially prepared for Yang Shi because he was worried that the medicine would be bitter. After swallowing a bowl of hot medicine, even Yang Shi felt a little hot inside. You should know that the prescription he changed was not only the year, but also the dosage. For example, he put the whole thousand-year-old ginseng in, like a nouveau riche. In Yang Zai's opinion, as long as he didn't die from eating it, he would eat it to death, and if he really died, he would just revive, without thinking too much. Definitely, this thing might kill a normal person directly under the powerful and inexplicable effect of the medicine, but it is still unlikely to kill Yang Shi. Yang Shi casually opened the entry system to check and found that the effect was really obvious. The experience value suddenly increased by 30 points, which made him smile. In this way, he only needed to drink it more than 10 times to upgrade directly. Cook it all, Yang Shi directly instructed Keenan, and then took the sugar water on the table and drank it in one gulp. However, the medicinal materials were not as many as imagined. On the one hand, these were all aged medicinal materials. There were only four or five thousand year old ginsengs, and then there were all hundreds of years of ginsengs. The medicinal effect was obviously reduced. On the other hand, when Keenan collected the medicinal materials, he collected them according to the amount of medicine above. Unexpectedly, after collecting them, Yang Shi directly filled each bowl of medicine with the amount of medicinal materials, which made the medicinal materials that could have been boiled enough seem insufficient. Even so, when Yang Shi drank all the potions that Keenan brought, the Zigang body entry was directly upgraded. God's body level 4 1 2000th Yang Shi looked at the name of this level 4 entry and raised his eyebrows. The name sounded intimidating at first, but the gods in this world are not that strong. He clenched his fist lightly, and could feel an explosive force condensed. Without using other forces, he could cause terrible damage with one punch. I just don't know which one is stronger than Thor. The changes brought to him by this fourth level entry are not only in strength, but also in all aspects. His endurance and resistance to attack have all become stronger. Yang Shi slowly loosened his fist, and the power dissipated and lurked in the muscles in his body. How are you and Du Lu doing? Yang Shi glanced at Keenan and asked casually. We have cultivated enough pure-blooded vampires and can control the Elder Council at any time. Quote, Hearing Yang Zai's question, Keenan said excitedly. During this period, he and Dulu have been desperately transforming. In fact, he and Dulu have both swallowed Yang Zai's blood, which makes their recovery ability stronger than normal vampires, thus producing more than 20 pure-blooded vampires in batches. As the first generation of pure-blooded vampires, the pure-blooded vampires who are transformed by the first embrace belong to the second generation of pure-blooded vampires within the blood clan with both super ability and physical fitness. In this case of transformation, the second generation of pure-blooded vampires developed into the third generation of pure-blooded vampires, and the fourth generation of pure-blooded vampires also appeared. This is the benefit of pure bloodline. Even if the fourth generation of vampires is still a pure-blooded vampire, the bloodline is still not weak, and the ability has not weakened to a certain extent. Relying on this method of rapid reproduction, they have gathered a sufficient number of pure-blooded vampires in a short period of time and can launch a revolution at any time. Then let's make a quick decision. Yang Shi said indifferently that for now, the blood ancestor could only run errands for him, but it was better than nothing. 
I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.